Good evening, Nicholas. Hello, Tyson. How are you? I am very well, thank you. Oh, you excited good. to be podcasting on this very freezing cold Melbourne evening. It is It is chilly to the bone, my it's friends. Like it's chilly. But we're warm in here. We are toasty exactly. in here. Welcome, everyone, to Nick Tyson Videotape. My yes. name is Nicholas. I am Tyson. This is episode uh, 62. 62? Um, of Nick Tyson Videotape. Hell and today, yeah. we've got a bit of something exciting. Oh, this is a bit special for me. I know me. it's special for you. You are a huge Michael Jackson fan. Massive. Um, we're talking about I didn't even check the fucking year. Oh shit! That's bad. I think news. it's eighty nine, if I believe. Mm, I think it might be earlier. It's gonna be faster. But... Oh no, it's like eighty six, maybe. It's eighty eight. Nineteen eighty eight. Oh. Michael Jackson's moonwalk. I feel like eighty eight was like one of those years that was just bliss. Nothing went wrong. I could be totally wrong, and I probably am. That was uh, the year of the Australian bicentennial. Oh. I remember I went to Brisbane. Oh, nice. And, and I yep. saw some things. There. <laughs> Great story. I love fucking stories like that. Was that was a great story. It was a good story. <laughs> um, but yeah, 1988, when, you know, summers lasted forever and, you know, the girl down the street was really cute and all you wanted to do was say hi. But instead, I just summers went inside and just, and just watched Michael Jackson's movie. Summers went forever. They did. <laughs> Why is it that summers <laughs> just do not last that long anymore? They really don't. And literally, you get two days that are really nice, warm, not extreme 42 degrees or like no 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 this is midwinter melbourne i think we live in the wrong area do you either that or global warming is just global, creeping up global warming us. is a thing people it like, is a thing i'm pretty it's pretty gonna, comfortable admitting it's gonna that. fuck us up yeah it's gonna fuck hawaii us right is burning up. from a volcano that right now which is not good you know no one's been hurt yet Oh, really? Oh, They've no, managed to... No, one be, no wow, one's been hurt, is... I don't think. But a lot of property damage, man. A lot of property damage. This is probably thrilling to our listeners. <laughs> totally thrilling. Um, <laughs> who have tuned in to hear us talk about Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Um, it's episode 62. How exciting is that? 62. 62. I like... Um, you know, I'm just going to keep every episode. I'm like, ooh. Yes, I know, right? Look at this number. I know, right? How exciting We're is this of... number? Um, <laughs> We're past 50. We are past 50. We're well past 50 yeah. now. But before we get to that, shall we shall we talk some trailers, Tyson? Well, or yeah. Or shall we... Yeah, let's talk some trailers right. first. Yeah, yeah let's yeah. do it. Everybody's talking trailers. Okay. All right. Now, there's not a lot to talk about. There's not. Once again, we have been, those poor people who just have trailer podcasts have one trailer to talk about. Maybe two. Yeah, they're, they're, that's a stretch this out. They must do like... Maybe or, there just isn't a podcast for that because people have realized that there's not really a market for it and it's really hard to keep getting material for it. Or they run through the featurette things and the, what the trailer uh, you know three what? shows yeah. that the trailer two No, didn't. you're totally right. That's what they're doing. Yeah. They're breaking down they're breaking second down by second. Fucking, yeah. yeah, pass. I don't have time for that shit. No, no. And well done. You guys are doing a great job. Doing a bang up job. And great job. Great job. Uh, I appreciate the, uh, the YouTube... Analysis <laughs> of uh, the only time I like YouTube analysis is when I <laughs> is when I need to catch up on like a previously what happened last season before I watched this. Season. Oh yeah, good call. Like a, that's uh, very useful. Yeah, like I have there's some, a ton I of useful for, shit. Yeah. on YouTube. Exactly. It's a ton of garbage. A ton, of, a ton shit. of nonsense. A ton of shit. A ton of really useful stuff. Yeah, a ton of good stuff though. Um, so yeah, that's what I use that for. But well, what, well, yeah, we saw a couple of trailers. Go on. Um, there's a, an interesting looking movie. Um, yeah. called uh, The Sisters Brothers. Sisters Brothers. Which um, we should talk about that. Yeah, sure. Hey! This is The Sisters Brothers! You don't stand a chance! Charlie? Huh? We've had a good long run. We need to get out. We can open the store together. A store? This is nonsense. You walk in the front door and finish the job. All right. You're not going to like what comes next. Hope you're safe. No, never. Now, <laughs> I don't really have much to say about this. Uh, this is the state of the w- of the week that I'm having. To, we're having to talk about a film that we don't really have much to say about, other than the fact that it's but that's um, okay. It's got a great cast. So we're, we've, we've got Jake Gyllenhaal, Joaquin Phoenix, John C. Riley, yeah. um, and Riz Ahmed look to be the main mm. cast. What um, has Riz done before? I've seen him before. Riz is he, well, most notably, he was from Rogue One. Oh, um, no, I know him from Nightcrawler. He, yeah, Nightcrawler, Four from. Lions. And he was on a television show, I think, that was quite popular. Yeah. Um, now, this looks like a strange kind of mishmash of, I'm not sure if it's meant to be funny or I'm not sure if it's meant to be kind of 
Coen Brothers esque. I feel like oh, that, there's a bit of that in there where it's it's a bit kind of like everyone's a little bit kooky. That but poster's a bit cool. That's a bit too cool for that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a it's a really cool poster. I like it. Um, um, but yeah, this is a this is clearly I don't know what it is because it was funny. You had a bit of action in there, but this I is your, this is your yeah. genre, Tice. Did it talk to you when you saw this thing? This Not is a western. Really? Um, you like the you like the slow cook western, don't you? I do Tyson? like a traditional western. Um, I like a western where very little happens. Yeah, um, strangely also, enough, fuck it, shuck it. Action in the end, bo- yeah. bo- 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 um, and everyone's dead. Uh, yeah, so look, I don't know about this. This is um, it's directed by um, Jacques Adouard, Adiard. Sure. Yeah. Um, I suppose he's probably his most known films are two that I actually haven't seen, which oh, is yeah. A Prophet and Rust and Bone. Rust and Bone was oh. a film a couple of years ago that I think Marion Coltart was going to get nominated for That's an Oscar right. maybe for. I remember it. that. Oh, she got a Golden Globe nomination for oh, it. And those don't count. No, and a BAFTA. <laughs> oh, they screwed her at the Oscars. Oh, come on. Um, so, yeah, counts. so this is a this is an untested director for me. And nice. um, I'll, I'll say that, though. The, the trailer is has a really interesting use of the song Tainted Love, mm. um, which I found a little bit fascinating because yeah. it plays on a music box um, in like a kind of like a torture scene or yeah, what looks or like, like it robbery. might be about to become pretty uh, fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really I'm really confused by the tone of this. Because it seems like it could be really quite funny, mm-hmm. and at the same time, it seems like it could be like really devastatingly violent. Yeah, which you normally get from a western. Yeah, you would expect well, because everything yeah, certain is back westerns then that really try to violent. try to actually kind of yeah, not, uh, you know, not glorify it. Um, but yeah, so I don't know, man. It looks like John C. Riley and Joaquin Phoenix have got this really interesting chemistry going on where they're cracking wires with each other, but exactly. they're also shooting people and probably killing them. Yeah, and, and you're seeing kind of a side of Joaquin Phoenix where he was he was quite not unlike himself on screen. It, it, he was charismatic almost, where he was like a guy who can a kill people and make yeah. fun of it while he's, while he's he got, got a, you know, yeah he's playing with a kind of a big kind of yeah you're right with mm. a big kind of swagger personality yeah he doesn't which, normally do that no at all. I like that though I like that a lot mm. I um. I mean, but having said that, you think of, oh, no, he, oh, God, what was he doing in Gladiator? It was so strange, but <laughs> I loved it. He's like this, it. he's like this he weird, creepy man up. baby. Yeah, yeah. That's Had so, a thing for his sister that oh, was really fucking Shakespearean was so in that movie. Fucked. Yeah. Um, Fuck, that's a good movie. Though. Yeah, I and it looks like, it, so it looks like um, there is a, a a character played by Riz Ahmed that looks to maybe owe these guys money, mm. but Riz Ahmed has discovered a technology that allows a, them a to or yeah. a chemical yeah basically yeah. that allows them to see gold without it, having to pan for it it's yeah. just to see just, where it is yeah you, in you the river. basically just go oh yeah there it is and then yeah. you go in and you get and you your, get your chunk of sand and you're good to go yeah um and so they obviously want this and now i'm not sure it seems as though jake gyllenhaal is the man kind of trying to protect riz ahmed or he's the sheriff kind of going after Oh, okay. The sisters' brothers. Yeah, maybe it's weird that they're called the sisters' brothers. And like well, their last name is sister. Is sister. Yeah. Or sisters. It sisters, has to be sisters. 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 Yeah. 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 Um, I do like it. And in my head, when I saw that scene, I went, "Back then, there must have been fucking gold and diamonds just everywhere, just everywhere, <laughs> just sitting around, just in a river, just you waiting for someone to pick them up." Oh, look at that carrot! Did you That's ever go nice. to Sovereign Hill and panned for gold? I did. I, uh, I, uh, little hint into Nick Tyson videotape. I lived in Ballarat for a short time to study acting. Of course. And uh, I lived near Sovereign Hill. Sovereign Hill's in Ballarat, isn't it? Yeah? Is that the one? What am I talking about? Yeah. Is it, is it Ballarat or Bendigo? No, it's Ballarat. No, it's Ballarat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I had friends that worked there, and uh, I've been there once. Look, it was all right, but nah, pass. I like a, I like a themed... If I'm going to go to a park like that, I want theme. I want cowboys coming out and like a stage action happening, and then didn't it used to all have of a sudden holy shit? Remember it used to know? have that the Eureka Stockade. Yeah, and it was like a stunt show. <laughs> Did it? Yeah, I think so. I love that this is what Australia comes. We try and do a theme park, and we come up oh, it's, with it's barely a theme it's, park. It's not even. It's a it's a it's, it's a, a learning travel yeah, destination. It is. It is. It's made for school excursions. Oh place. fuck yeah! It is made for yeah. It. yeah. Um, um, I did go panning when I was a kid, yeah, yeah, and I had a tiny little vial with water in it that had, like, I shit you not, like, a splinter yeah. of gold in it. Yeah. I um, actually still have mine, I think. Oh, it's probably around it somewhere, yeah. but um, I'm, it's probably worth about 13 cents. But, yeah, yeah. Um, I asked when I got mine, I was like, how much is this? She's like, two bucks. I'm like, oh. Hey, man, times are tough. <laughs> Fuck! I'll All take right, two fine. bucks. Hey, I'll take two bucks. Think about how excited you get when you find two bucks in your pur- in your in your purse in, in your, your purse, <laughs> like oh, in your, your man pocket. purse dice. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm totally for that. I'm totally for that. That's why I, if I ever put on a suit, 
I make sure that I put like $50 or $100 in the jacket pocket so that when I put it back on, I go, motherfucking uh, rad day. You it's know? not bad. Yeah. Giving yourself a little Give treat. Giving myself a little oh, surprise. I like it. My wife would kill me. She's like, why are you putting that in the back? But yeah, it's good that's thinking. what I like to do. Oh, what is this what wild the shit? fuck is this shit? Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, look, I don't know if we've got much else to say about the sisters and brothers. To <laughs> be honest, not. it's but um, the thing is, the trailer did enough for me to go fuck. I will see that. I will definitely it's, see it's that, funny. especially with the cast. Do you remember um, a movie from a couple of years ago called um, Slow West, which had Michael Fassbender no. and Cody Schmidt McPhee? Um, that looked to be uh, to have a similar kind of tone to it, I oh, okay. think. Because I remember watching the trailers for that and being like, oh, it's a bit of a comedy. And then when watching the film, yeah, kind of not being sure how the tone was meant to be taken. Like, I found parts of it kind of quirky and funny. Yeah. But only in like a... It, it's not black comedy. It's very different from that. Yeah. Um, it's almost like if you're if you want it to be a comedy, you can find the comedy the in, it. Parts in it. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. if you went in expecting a drama, you would just you could watch it completely blankly so mm. and just think it was a little kooky mm. so yeah i think that's probably the vibe it's closest to oh, okay um that and like that i mean that's what coen brothers i think kind of do to a, a bit of a tea with some of their kind of middle where it's not quite a it's drama not quite, not a quite, serious, quite a comedy not quite, yeah, yeah yeah well there you go there you go sisters brothers sisters brothers um what else do people want You'll to talk see about? it though, won't you? Yeah, that seems like something I'd totally yeah. watch. I love the cast and it's a it's a Western, so yeah. it's worth checking out. Exactly. Um what else do you want to watch? What do we do we want to talk about? Oh, let's talk about um the uh not Anna Farris, uh the Faris. uh oh, Blake Anna Lively Faris. and oh, Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick. Um a thriller directed by Paul Feig, of all people. Yeah, no. And what is this thing called? A simple, simple Favor. A Simple Favor. Yeah. I met Emily a few weeks ago. She is this wonderful, elegant person. Je t'ai vu tracer le long du paysage Une ligne des aimés qui détruise ton langage Et quand tu chantais plus fort dans ton silence Je voyais les larmes couler toujours Stephanie, à I need just a simple favor Anything. Let's talk this thing, because this was... I, I complain a lot. I've realised I complain a lot about trailers and not being what I want in a trailer or showing too much or what the fuck was that. This was... This was strange. This was almost like a short film. Yeah, it did... So it, it doesn't so much present a trailer. Well, I don't know. It's hard I to still, define. But the thing is, though, Tyson, in watching this, I still don't know what the fuck it's about. Like, what is this no, about? No, look, I think, yeah, I think they've managed to keep a lid on it. It seems like it's going to be a single white female. female. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, what's the the one that, uh, what's, there's another one that's like that. Uh, 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 basically. What was the uh, one with um, Leighton Meister and, um, Leighton Meister and. Are you thinking about, are you Glenn Close? Is it the Glenn no, Close one? No. What's the Glenn Close no, one? No, Leighton Me- from Gossip Girl. It what's came Glenn out, Close doing? Oh, that's really funny. They were both in Gossip Girl and they've both done the same version of a movie, which is. The roommate, the roommate, the it roommate. was called yep. from a couple of years ago. So it looks like it's it's your typical kind of. Well, shit was Anna Kendrick in Gossip Girl. No, Blake Lively. Oh, Blake Lively was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the other girl. The in other the, girl yeah, in yeah. the roommate. Yeah. yeah. Um, Look at this. Like, what is this? This Leighton is like Mesa, the start of a saying. Bond film. Yeah, it's it is. It's really stylized, and the graphics are really kind of they're they're, they're trying to. It's almost got a Hitchcockian kind of thing to it as well. Like, mm. um, um, which is the. I think the same guy did a lot of those soul soul bass. Um, Fatal attraction. That's what I was thinking. Sure, of. sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, but like I said, we can't, I can't quite tell what, what is the, going on. What the plot is, aside from it being your typical kind of thriller. I like the cast. I yeah. um, I'm a big you know everyone's an Anna Kendrick fan. She's yeah, fucking delightful. She's great. Um, yeah. Blake Lively, I feel like, is kind of... I like her a lot in Gossip Girl, and I feel like she's been yeah. good in other things and just hasn't had an opportunity to really kind mm. of I haven't seen her enough, off. so I can't have an opinion. But, yeah, she, she married my boyfriend, so I'm okay with her. Exactly. That. Yeah. If, if he likes her. Dude. She must be pretty rad. She must be pretty rad. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, and Paul Feig... I'm, sure, Paul Feig. Well, hey, funny, give it though. a shot, you know. It's and the fact that it comes up in the thing is the dark side of yeah, you. You haven't seen I'm him like, direct to Paul Feig. And I'm like, oh, really? Uh, that's don't, unnecessary don't do it like that. Just say yeah. Paul Feig. Yeah. You know, you're allowed to do different Well, that's it. Well, there's movies. no reason why directors should be pigeonholed in any Absolutely one genre. Absolutely not. No. It seems really not. dumb. Yeah. But um, in this case, they decided they had to tell us that mm. it's from the darker side of Paul Feig. No one said that when, when Insomnia came out. From the dark side of Rob Williams. No, don't don't say that. 
Don't say that. That's a good point. Actually, I, I reckon if we went back, not to Insomnia, oh, really? <laughs> what was the one, um, one hour one photo? photo? I yeah. guarantee one of those that trailers was, was Robin that. Williams, that was as you've never seen, seen him before. before. <laughs> or something similar of the like. Paul Feig. No, I got nothing. But I like, I like Paul Feig. Like, I've, I've been at least lukewarm to all of his films. I think if I'm the not, only... I like them. I, I'm the only one that really liked... The the new Ghostbusters, all female cast sure. Ghostbusters. I thought it was I fine. It. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, Bridesmaids is fucking amazing. Yeah. Um, I didn't like Bridesmaids. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I lo- look. I love the Melissa McCarthy parts. I just don't like that much bitchiness on screen. Sure, I couldn't take it. Uh, well, I was like, yeah, oh like, my god, <laughs> it's pretty amazing to watch. Really, in yeah. some ways, like. The, the the levels of cringe awkwardness between the, some of those characters was just was, uh, was amazing on. and very hard to watch. But yeah. then you also get to sing someday somebody's gonna make you wanna turn and say goodbye, say goodbye, which is always a treat. Always. Good. I remember how much I used to love that fucking song, really? and I was it was like one of my secret songs wow. that when I used to be like, hey, do you remember this song? And people at parties would be like, oh my god, I haven't heard this in ten years, and I'd be like the king of the party for three <laughs> minutes because I played this song. Do you know what I mean? And then that movie fucking ruined it for me. Now everyone's all like, yeah, Wilson Phillips, we remember. Fuck off, Wilson Phillips. No way. They were so good. Yeah. I was obsessed with that Wilson song. Phillips were good. Haim, who are out now, are try- who are trying to do a Wilson Phillips ripoff. I don't listen to any contemporary music, no, so good, I can't good. tell you. Except you don't need for, to. I'll you tell you this oh, thing. Oh, oh. I listened to the new Backstreet Boys single today. Good Lord. That's not really current music, though, is no, it, No, but it's a current, currently released <laughs> song. And I'll tell you this. It's pretty fucking great. And I was very skeptical, and it started playing, and all of a sudden That's I'm like, hilarious. all right, Backstreet's Look, back, baby. Oh, my God. That is hilarious, man. You are showing your age. That is golden. I remember when Backstreet was back. Oh, dude, I was on that I remember train. how big a deal I, it was, was when it's train. like, oh, my God, Backstreet's back, guys. Yeah. I was I was dating, in air quotes, a girl who saw me uh, saw my Backstreet's back CD and went, really? I was like, yeah. They're back yeah. in <laughs> pog form. <laughs> and she was like, I think we need to see a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, that's as good, that's a, good a reason that's as fine. any. Hey, that's fine. Um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this called? A Simple Favour. That's right. This this trailer. This trailer. Um, look, it's a simple favour. And... Uh, this is... Look, uh, the, I am. I will be waiting for reviews for this thing. Oh, that's really? for sure. I, I'm not going to see it this. It seems really... I got like burnt, it could go either way. Yeah, I got burnt by is it Girl on Train or like the Girl on the, the Train, girl on the train or, something. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. That trailer looked boss. I was like, yeah, man, yeah. bring that on. Yeah. That looks fun. And that was the biggest piece of thriller garbage I'd ever well, seen. Well, the funny thing, like I actually, that was one of those things where reviews were very helpful in that circumstance because oh, really? oh, I stayed, I stayed away until I read some Good. and realized, you know what, the life is short. Yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> I've got, I've got, yeah, I got better things to do. Um, oh god, I've got a whole bunch of fifties horror movies to watch on exactly. Tubi TV. So. Exactly. So I'm be doing. Yeah. Look, I'll um, I you might come around this at some point. I think it, if it gets reviewed well, because it could, it has the potential to be like really trashy fun, yeah. which a lot of those '90s versions of this are. Like mm. Fatal Attraction is fucking great. Like it is such it. it's on my list. trash, it. and it, but it's such like highbrow trash. Yeah. And you know, we talked about Basic Instinct. We talked a bit about it during our Devil's Advocate Devil's podcast, Advocate, which you can true. find in our uh, in archives. Our... Go back and check that one out. We have a good fun, a good fun, a good fun. We have a we good have fun time. Fun. We yeah. have some fun. We have some fun uh, discussing that trashy, yeah. sexy '90s thriller. That was good. Um, I did like that. So uh, yeah, we'll see about this one. I'm not holding my breath. Yeah, sure. Yeah, bring it Tell on. Tell you what, though, it's one of those ones I'm where for a thriller, though, bring it on. Yeah, me too. And I like when a trailer just comes out, and I have no idea what the movie is. Exactly. And I start watching it, and I go, "Oh, cool! Look who's in this." Oh, Paul Feig. Okay, great. Yeah. That's, and that's kind but of doesn't happen. But it was so anymore. stylized. I was like, oh, well, what is this? I yeah. don't know what's going on. And at the end of it, I was like, hang on a minute. What, what is going on? Yeah. Yeah, bring it on. It looks fun. I needed like a Mancini score underneath that. That's oh, what yeah. I needed. Yeah. Or like a, what is, like a uh, Wild Things? Bum, bum. <laughs> like really low. <laughs> what the? <Whoa. laughs> <Yeah>. That one. <laughs> no. Not like. Bum, bum. Not. <laughs> not <laughs> That one, that would work really well. Not D bow bow. That's the thing I remember most about um, <laughs> Turner and Hooch. Oh my god! Is yes, when that no, plays. it's not Turner and Hooch. It's K nine. It's K nine, is it? Yes, Turner and Hooch doesn't have that shit. Turner and Hooch is highbrow. <laughs> K nine is lowbrow. <laughs> that's what happens when you have Jim Belushi <laughs> filling in for Tom Hanks. Exactly. Um, let's do, let's do Turner and Hooch. I fucking love that movie. Sure, I I think we'll find that it's maybe not as good anymore. But hey, I'm all for it. Um, well, that's what I thought going into Moonwalker. Well, I thought, oh shit, this could fuck me up. This could ruin my childhood. Well, let's, oh, I'm gonna s- give let's it a shot. save it. Let's save it. Save we'll it. Get there. We'll get there. Can't we? I know. Just a little bit of sizzle for later. That was, that was sizzle nice. reel. Sizzle reel. Sizzle reel. Um, um, lastly, lastly, should we just talk about the 
Ex- do you want to talk about the new extended trailer for Christopher, Christopher Robin. Robin? Goodbye, yeah. Christopher Robin. Yeah, sure. Oh, I do like a party. Come on, babe. What should happen if you forget about me? Silly old bear. I won't ever forget about you, Pooh. I promise. Not even when I'm a hundred. We should be working this weekend, Robin. But I, I promised my wife and daughter I'd take them away this weekend. All hands on deck. You won't be coming to the cottage. Well, it can't be helped. Your life is happening now, right in front of you. What to do, what to do, what to do. What to do, indeed. Pooh? Christopher Robin. No. The tree I remember was in the countryside, not here in London. There's no opening. I suppose it's where it needs to be. That's a silly explanation. Why, thank you. Pooh, why are you here? Oh, yes, I need your help. I've lost all of my friends. Let's get to the bottom of this. Look up, Pooh. Here I come. It would appear that I am stuck. Have you just eaten honey? I have not just eaten honey. I wonder which way. I always get to where I'm going by walking away from where I have been. Um, which this thing has, like, has won me over well and true. Oh, what? really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I was kind of... Big. I think that first trailer was a little bit too... It was too teasy. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? What's um, going on? But... Get to the point. Having said that, this trailer does show off a lot, and it's a, oh. it, I was a bit kind of like, I think maybe... You showed too much. I didn't need the plot points that it shows, oh, okay. but... Um, the designs of these characters and their voices are just It's beautiful. the original. I love that they're like so clearly stuffed toys that have they come are. to life. Yeah, yeah. And they just look so cute. They and have spot on. Yeah. Man. They've really nailed Little the designs piglet. of them. Um So for those of you who don't know, uh Disney has gone back and done Winnie the Pooh hook style. <laughs> it is. It's like it's practically hook. Yeah. Except in this, I like that it's. I like that there's just no kind of like, um, you know, he's jaded or anything, and no, he doesn't believe he's still in them anymore. The same he's, he's actually still just Christopher Robin, yeah. and when he sees him the first time, he's like, "Poo, poo!" <laughs> he's so yeah. excited to see him, and like poo? it's 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 so it's, it's got a different tack to it, which I think is kind of fun. Yeah. Oh, uh, when he said, "Can you help me find my friends?" Oh, oh my heart fucking sunk. Jesus. I was just like, that is the cutest fucking thing ever. What Winnie does he say? No, I can't, I can't seem to find my friends. I can't. I don't know what his voice is. I can't do it. It's the um, original voice, though. It's got to be. It's Because it's, it's so spot on when I heard that. Yeah, Christopher it's, Robin. And I was like, wow, it's they lovely. got original. Um, and it, yeah. But I love it. we got it's Eeyore so just it floating around awesome. in a pond. we got I Tigger love jumping Eeyore. around. Eeyore's my favourite. Piglet's gorgeous and like the cutest little thing ever. Look at Tigger, yeah. man. Um, so this, I hope this does well. I really do. Look, I, because this is going to open up for kids well, why don't I know Winnie the Pooh? Sure. And this is a gate for them. Sure. Which is, which if I was young, I'd be like, what is this? And my mum, who always, always used to come out with, well, have you seen this? You know, like back in the day when I really got into, in the video store and I'm, I would always grab one of each section. So a drama, a thriller, a comedy yep. and, an, and an action or whatever. Um, and I grabbed uh, Rain Man. And I picked that up. Now this is back in the day when, how, I, old, how old? Yeah, oh yeah, I was I was young. <laughs> I was about eight or nine. Okay, nine sure. Or ten, or ten. And and my something about Tom Hanks. Yeah, and my Tom Hanks, um, Tom Cruise. <laughs> and my um, my mum would go. Do you do realise that Rain Man is uh, Captain Hook? I was like, oh, fuck off! It yes. is not. And she's like, no, no, no. Have a look. Look I, it up. Yeah. And I was so that that was the bite. That was the acting bite for me. The versatility of um. Of Dustin Hoffman, how he is so versatile, versatility, versatile. I was blown the fuck away. That is a, a very good point. I remember I had a very similar realization that the sa- that same guy was Captain Hook in Hook, who was so terrifying. Oh my god! How, yeah, and good, somehow, how like, good a Captain Fucking Hook was some, he? They somehow made him like three foot taller Rufio. than he is too. Oh, I was like Jesus. Yeah. That was uh, that was really well put together. It was. Um, it was very good. Anyway, so this looks yeah, this looks sweet as fuck. Like it, does. it just looks like the kind of thing you'll put on on a cold winter's night with a warm cup of tea. Cup of tea. You might have to make some Open toast fireplace. with a little bit of honey on it. Oh, toast Tell and me you're not honey. gonna. I'm gonna take some toast and honey into the cinema if oh, I end up watching this. I don't think that's allowed. I'm oh, sorry. No, you can take it. Yeah. I've got a story for you later of oh, what right. I had in the cinema oh, last night. Jesus Christ, um, Tyson. Um, I have a question. Yes. At the end of this, sure. Yeah. We'll ask it now. Because my wife asked it the other day, and I didn't really, I didn't really know. Is Winnie the Pooh a boy or a girl? Because he has a boy's voice, but Winnie is a girl's name. So is Winnie the Pooh Ace? Like, like um, uh, it's 
non non is gender Winnie, specific. Winnie, yeah, Win, Winnie must, the Pooh. I think it's a boy. But yeah, well, he has a boy's voice, but Winnie is a girl's name. Because my it could be short for something else. Like I think, I think because oh maybe, I think because I love making, the name Winnie. Make, <laughs> just just as a side note, it makes me no. Do you know what Winnie reminds me of? Wendy, Wendy, Winnie Peppercorn. Is it Winnie Peppercorn or Winnie Wendy Peppercorn? Wendy in, Peppercorn in in the Sandlot Kids. Oh right, right, right. Yeah. No, Winnie is for me always going to be. Um, oh, Wendy is. is. Yeah, yeah, totally. I, uh, I yeah, I will think of her as nothing other than other than that. Than, uh, God, why can't I think of her name, Winifred? <laughs> this is killing me. From I was. <laughs> ah. I love the Wendy is. This is killing me. I can't even think. Kevin, Kevin Arnold, Kevin and Arnold, Winifred. Go on. You got nothing. Okay, so who... Oh, I keep wanting to say Burkle. It's, it's Wendy. Wendy in, in Sandlot. I was wrong. I keep wanting to say Burkle, but that's not right. I don't think. That's something Gilbert. else. Winifred Burkle is something else. Gilbert. Wasn't it... Oh, you thinking of his friend? No. Paul. Yeah, Paul. Winnie it, Cooper. Winnie Cooper. Oh, Jesus. Winifred oh. Cooper. Who's Winifred Burkle? <laughs> I got the, nothing. What the fuck? Where are you on? Where know. are you on? I think that's Paul's last name. Paul Burkle? Paul Burkle? No, no Paul, he's Paul Feiss or Fleiss oh, or something. Okay. This is exciting stuff. Everyone's just eating this Everyone up. Everyone is going, guys, oh, get to Oh, Winifred Burkle is from Angel. Point. Oh, wow, Angel. Old and her nickname's references. Fred. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to stop this podcast and go back to the start for you so that you can I'll go, to okay, podcast, guys. We're tracking gonna... Winnie's. <laughs> this is what it's going to be called. So we you, okay, we're gonna we're gonna stop that. We're gonna move on because we need on? we need to get. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> well, of course it's insane. We're about to do Moonwalker, which is not the well, greatest. We're just straight, setting you all we're up. We're just setting it. you up for the most bizarre fucking. You think we're going watch. off on fucking tangents? Wait, <laughs> three directors <laughs> took, to took to this movie and they were like, okay, what can we do? And they just mashed together this thing. Well, should we just go to our let's go to presentation? Features. Yeah. All right. And now for our feature presentation. By the way, I just called it feature presentation. Just feature then. presentation. <laughs> Taish. I've got no time for the shun. It's just feature presentation. Feature pr- feature prayers because we go to prayers. We said feature prayers. We go feature prayers normally. Now I'm feature presentation. Now feature presentation. <laughs> now for your feature presentation. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I like it. I like it too. Um. So yeah. It's, right. it's 1998. It's 1998. Um. Then in 1998 was the was the I was trying to think of the song that came out. in is it like "Send the Break Good Times"? Come on! I feel like that might be a bit too late for that. Oh, okay. I think that might have been earlier. Okay. Um, what were you going to say? Well, look, Nick, you might need to take the lead on a lot of this because oh, really? you are the Michael Jackson fan. All like, right. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not a fan. I'm a huge fan, but yeah. I I knew a lot. I didn't really get into the cultural right. phenomenon that was Michael that was Jackson. Michael Jackson yeah. Like I. I stayed up late nights when they said the new Michael Jackson film clip is going to be out yeah. at 11 p.m. And yeah. I was like, my mum and dad was like, yeah, you can stay up. It's funny how I've just, I can't think of a time when I've really been caught up in that kind of stuff before. Mm. Like, I don't, I've never been like that wild about a pop star that mm. I've been like on the phone as soon as tickets come out All or things. lining up for their yeah, first yeah. album. And mm. like, if I, if I got something, like I get a t-shirt signed or anything like like nothing like yeah, that. Yeah. Um, which is, it's strange because... Like, even to the end, like when they, so they sold off when This Is It, the concert didn't end up happening in in London. They ended up so- selling off the merch that they all did. Yeah. And I've got three t-shirts still in their plastic upstairs from the merch from that concert that never happened. See, and that's, that that <laughs> speaks to a certain level yeah. of, yeah, of fandom for yeah. it, which I, which is, it baffles me. Mm. We're like, I'm, I'm just so removed from that yeah, yeah. when it comes to Michael Jackson. Mm. So... How many times had you seen this before I, now? I, I didn't need to watch it. Yeah, th- sure. To that point. Like, I said to my wife, we can actually talk through this because I know this backwards. Right. Literally verbatim. Which yeah. I find amazing that anyone could watch this more than once. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like, the thing. And like, you being, could have it on at a party. Yeah. But to oh, sit down and, and watch physically it. watch it. But that's the thing. As a kid, you've got to remember, at that age, I was, because it was the singing and the dancing, there were times where I'd watch it where I'd want to master the singing. Or there's times where I'd want to watch it and master the dance moves. You know, there are moves that I just couldn't get where I'm rewinding it on my VHS, Tyson, oh, nice. and going, what the fuck is he doing there? I don't know how to move like that. What am I doing wrong? 
So yeah, I think it goes without saying that that stuff is amazing. Like oh. that stuff in this is incredible. Yeah. I think the the live performances, the performance montage, yep. the smooth criminal mm, that whole section. Yeah. Um, it's just, and then I guess come together at the end, which is a bit of I don't really don't, like yeah, that cover. The, the only reason he did that and is because he just bought the song, and so he owned the song at that point. Oh, so that's why he right. did it. Yeah, but. And and That's the fact right. that which we'll get into later that uh, Julian Lennon is one of those kids. Yeah, yeah. But we'll get to that later. But yeah. um, but yeah, I'm I'm not a huge fan of that song. Once once the for me the movie starts at the kids at bed. Then you go to Leave Me Alone, and then the film part, which was always good. Joe Pesci in in heels, Tyson. Yeah. Fucking so amazing. well, how far? Okay. So, well, so let's, let's break let's, it down into some sections. Yeah. I think so. Um. The, the Let's first go to the start. section yep. is the is the uh, sort of, Man in the Mirror. Yeah, film uh, which film, is is a, a the actual film, film clip. clip. Yeah, there right. wasn't a film clip to Man in the Mirror, so, so they that's just what used they that. Did. Yeah, which um, uh, it, look, it's a great way to start the, the film because it is such high energy. Mm. It's it's one of those songs. Like, I mean, he's got uh, he's got twenty of those songs. Like, mm. where it's like they are legitimately all time great. Yeah. Like, they are just so fucking good. Yeah, yeah. Um, it blows my mind a little bit, but mm. um. I think I think a lot of my experience of this is going to be having to readjust my expectations every time. Yeah. Every five minutes, basically. <laughs> yeah, because you don't movie. know what's going to come yeah. up. Yeah. Like you, you have there, no there is literally there is no way to predict what this is going to be. No. Um. And so you're watching that first bit. I'm like, great. All right. Cool. I'm in it. I'm watching a bit of live concert Bring footage. Yeah, and I'm like, awesome. I know that it gets pretty fucking weird, but this is kind of easing me into it. Yeah. And I think it works really well. Yeah. Um. And then we get the. One of my I mean, pro- it's so weird to say that it worked really well. It's just a great fucking song. Yeah, it's a great song. And, and you so- see him live in action, which one of my things that I, when watching it now as an adult, because I hadn't seen this in 15 sure, years or, sure. two, or you know, um, but watching it now, the things that I'm doing is looking at that concert and going, babe, look, there are no iPhones in the air. Look at that. Look how beautiful everyone is just fucking enjoying themselves yeah. and having a ball. It's a great little time capsule of the uh, the the extreme kind of fandom mm. that surrounded him. Like yeah, I yeah. love that it's got the people crying, the people passing yeah, out. Passing out for it's got bouncers exhaustion. like having to get people who are being fucking thrown to the front of the stage. Yep. There's one great shot where there's just a bounce with a ciggy hanging yeah. out of his mouth and he's trying to catch someone and he drops them <laughs> and, and he it's drops, like yeah, he's, he's like, like oh, whatever, whatever, right, man. Yeah, fuck it. Right. Um, yeah. It's funny I, think that, it, I think it was kind of comparing the sort of the I feel like the Beatles because they the Beatles did this first. Yeah. It was just a little bit of comparison to, sure. to how big Michael Jackson and we, was. And you know, we know Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney have had a pretty close relationship yeah. and so there's that acknowledgement that they had very similar kind of levels of fandom. Yeah. Um I was trying to think and I'm like maybe I'm looking into it a bit too much, mm. but I think the choice of Man in the Mirror was kind of interesting as well. Yeah. I'm I'm fascinated by I'm fascinated by this whole fucking thing, right? This is it's bonkers, and I'm going to be trying to find levels little, in it because yeah. I need to. Because I'm yeah. like, it's, like it's, it's either the work of a madman yeah. or a genius, and yeah. I, you could convince me either way at any one time or another. Absolutely, yeah. But I, so he's obviously he's obviously had this fascination with his own worth. Right at that start, because it is yes, I know what you're saying. So, because it well, is a montage of his accolades, almost. Yeah, yeah. And not only that, but he he goes so far as to like legitimately like um make an allegory of his fame mm. with the middle chunk, like with yeah, the yeah. like. So he he has this either it's either this blown out self. Like blown out self importance, mm. or it's this kind of weird, crazy like I actually can fix these things. Like maybe he does or, kind of believe it a little bit. Or, and so yeah. the choice of Man in the Mirror, which is the, which is like the the you know the message of that song is mm. so much about if you want to do if you know if you want to be a good person you've got to start with yourself. Self, yeah, I think it's pretty deliberate. That that's the one that they've chosen, and he's he's trying to tell this story. He's trying yeah. to tell this. Um, if you want to, you know, you start with yourself and then you go and try and stop the drug dealers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to start with yourself, man. You're you got to do it way too much. But yeah, I, it has if, to, if it, there's what, no reason for it. Because why not for. do yeah, yeah. any of the other songs? Yeah, what, like, so he's obviously trying to say something mm. with it. Maybe, but Man in the Mirror is the, the song. 
Everyone knows that. You know, it is the one up there. Like I said, though, man, you can, there's tons and of we're about them. to yeah, see in the true. montage that comes that's up true. very soon, there's 20 to 25 other ones yeah, that are just true. as that's huge. And looking at that from, like, not trying to find, which I love that you're doing that, trying to find a hidden meaning into all of these I things. I think you have to. Yeah. You have to because it's... No, but for I me... I think he believed it. No, but I think for he me, bought into what, it. what you're seeing is an age in 1988 where you don't have YouTube at the ready or a, a channel of, of video clips at the ready. You're getting... This is what Michael Jackson... The film clips that you don't get to see when you want to, these are little glimpses of those things, you know, with some bizarre segue of a spaceship lifting off and do you remember the Jackson 5 and all of that yeah, stuff? Yeah, so if we, if we move things, on to the montage, yeah. which goes way too long, it is just... <laughs> I love it. It's it just is songs. so long. And it's look, it's fine. Songs. It's just songs, but yeah. like I, I almost feel like it kind of hurts its own... It does. Um, it's too long. Like... Yeah. Get to uh, the, enjoyment levels because there's songs in there that I want to hear more of. Yeah, and you keep you keep interrupting me. Exactly, and I'm having a keep good time. In ben, why don't you? Oh, in don't chuck in Ben. And I love that they just they like, acknowledge the rats. And yeah, that's just like 100. percent Yep, it's it's that song. It's he that song, the song from about a rat. Yeah, yep. um, and uh, like yeah, you're right. It kind of goes into like claymation and weird kind of it 60s does. animation. Yeah, and I get what it's doing. It's just showing us the progression of MJ. Yeah. Which is fine. Sure. This is when I'm starting to really wonder what this film is. And I'm like, okay, so I think I've been misled. I think I I believed it was far more narrative-based. No, not and until about halfway. Yeah, yeah. and I just did not realise. Yeah. So this is a really tough adjustment for me because I've sat down expecting something narrative-based. And it's, look, it's my own fault. But I just knew about the bit with... Mm, at the end. At, with Joe Pesci and yeah. all that shit. So yeah. I was expecting... That yeah, there'd be some stuff, other stuff, mm. but that would take up probably an hour of it. Sure. In reality, it takes up about twenty five minutes of it. Yeah, um, where you're just getting, and now you're just getting, you get glimpses of previous film clips, and then you'll get yeah a full two. I think it's three. You get uh, uh, you get leave me alone. And you get it's leave complete, me alone. It's which, complete. Is that the leave me alone film clip as well? That is. Okay. Yeah. And then you get the speed demon <sighs> film clip, which is the that's obviously the extended version. Because you get really extensive, like all the claim and the the little claymation, att- which was weird. We'll get to that. Um, attacking, like trying oh, to attack save, him. Just or save it for a second. Yeah. Save it. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get um, uh, smooth criminal. Yeah. So, do we call that section smooth criminal? That entire section. Or the the I, well the film clip. If you were to look up the film yeah, clip, yeah. it starts from him walking into club. 30. So yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. So, but do we count? Do we call that the? Because you know how thriller is like. A massive um, film. Actually, a short, a short film, film in itself, yeah, and then yeah. there's the thriller film clip within that. Yep. Do we call all the that random thing? shit the, sw- the Smooth Criminal no, short I film? Wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. It's no. Moonwalker with it's short film. It's Moonwalker okay. with uh, Smooth Criminal in there, yeah. All right. <laughs> so let's just go past the montage, because this happens. Exactly. And it, it gets, to, it's, oh, we're yeah. about 20 minutes in. Yep. And, and then you... Oh, it's the fucking kids. You start with... <laughs> and then there's more horse shit. It's the fucking kids. Doing the bad film clip. Yeah, doing the bad film clip. Which is yeah. fine. Which is and fine, funny. but it's, yeah. As a kid, like when watching it, I was yeah, like, I yeah, bet. that's cool. I bet that's kind of That's cool. awesome. You know, kids doing it. Yeah. It's, I didn't, I didn't, yeah. In my head, because of the time, and I knew from watching the original bad uh, film clip mm. directed by Mr. Martin Scorsese. Of course. Um, Hang on. Yeah. Who did, did they do bad or beat it? Who did beat no, it? He did bad. Someone did beat it did as well. Did someone do beat it? I don't know who did beat it. I'll have to check. Oh. Um, who did Thriller? John... No, it's um, John... American Werewolf, Werewolf yeah. and John Landis. John Landis, thank yeah. you. Um, yeah, so as a kid, I was like, yeah, this is cool. I, I prefer the original. Of, yeah, of kids, course. kids, kids, that's awesome. But they get it spot on. They do everything, everything from the flipping to the kids on the rollerblades to all of... Uh, roller skates, sorry, to all of that stuff. They yeah, hit every mark. It's It's... Like it's it's, it's entertaining awesome. to a degree, and I think it can't be enough. Can't be said about um, the kid that's the MJ. Kid. Yeah, how good oh, is he? He's something else, man. I hope he went on to have a successful career as he a dancer or something. He probably didn't. Let's look him up. Oh, that might be a but sad yeah. story. Because, <laughs> but he's he's stunning. Yeah, how good was he? he and was so good. Um, yeah, I think like it. It just it, to me, I'm just. It's yet again. It's me having to delay my kind of brain's need for something like I, it's now been almost, it's been 20 minutes, probably mm. a little bit more. Yep. And I'm like, has the movie started? 
what is this it? Is this all it's going to be? Is it, it, it going to be like yet? No, you don't get into that. Point. I was not in the right. I was so not in the right headspace right. for that. Yeah. Um. But then when he so they all walk out through the smoke and yep. then turn into adult versions Turns of themselves, yeah. and they start speaking to each other. Right. And I'm like, oh, okay, here we okay, go. Okay, let's start. here's something's going to happen. <laughs> and then no, no, it does not. Because now we get we start off with claymation, really big heads. We get all these big heads from far away. They're people. big heads, and up close, they're claymation people. And it was at this point that my wife went, "Okay, can I go to bed yet? Because this is actually scaring the fuck out of me." Well, it was at this point that I well and truly was <laughs> like, "How am I not drunk or stoned? What am I doing? I am not doing this right, really." Because like, tell me, it's weird. Tell me, people Looking have now, not. Yeah, like this. This is fodder for stoners, yeah, surely. Clearly. This is the kind of thing where it's just, it's like the wall. It's like putting, <laughs> except it's except you don't get so but fucking it's, it's, weirdly it's freaked a G, out and G-rated freaked wall. out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. you can That's just so go, true. hey man, let's Fuck, make a fat one and years. watch Moonwalker because it's crazy. That. And That's a bit crazy. That would, yeah, you get you get all of these uh, uh, like and then the so bunny comes out. <laughs> they come, they come, I know. Wait, so they come out at the studio. Michael Jackson comes out and he gets. The storyline here is that he's getting mauled by tourists that just want his autograph or photo or whatever, and he's just running from them. That and then it ends up with him hiding inside a bunny suit that goes claymation, mm. and then he rides off on a motorbike. Yes, this is this is one hundred percent what happens. <laughs> and, and then speed demon. So, so I, I mean, was he? Was, did he have a fascination with like Looney Tunes or something? I don't was, know. I think it was. I think I think it was. So this was part was obviously directed by one person because the start montage you get one one director. That Speed Demon, that whole section, mm. you get another director. Um, Leave Me Alone was separate because it was just a, a, a pre-existing yeah, film clip. Yeah, pre-existing film clip, and then you get, and then you get the Smooth Criminals section. Yeah, yeah. So this was this was some directors. What like their baby? And they were like, I have no idea. I've always wanted to make. I a... think it was no, but at this stage, with someone as big as Michael Jackson, you go, I'm thinking to do this, and obviously he's going to come up, come come up to you and go, I would prefer to do the, maybe this. And he's like, okay, I can work with that because I want to work with Michael Jackson, and maybe this is my big hit. sure. But so how much? So how much of this is fun, MJ's though. like brainchild? Do you think? I know he has a lot of say. I remember reading that he has quite a bit of say in what's going to show. Sure. And there was a lot of reshoots, and it went way over budget, so that they they couldn't they couldn't um especially with that. What ending. what what um, wouldn't he have liked about other things that weren't? The claymation rabbit. Like, do you know I what I mean? No like, idea. Well, how do you look at something and go, yeah, I kind of like what we're going with here, but do you know what it needs? <laughs> a claymation rabbit. You ne- I need to turn into a claymation <laughs> rabbit. Because that's when you go, oh, have we done the right thing What here? are we doing here? <laughs> what, what exactly are we, doing? are we doing here? How much money yeah. are we spending on this? Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's a good idea anymore. Because <laughs> Michael Jackson wanted wanted this in th- in cinemas. But because, uh, yes, of, because of the budget, yeah. he, he was only able to do straight to video. But yeah. I like how when... So he ha- like he is the the claymation rabbit. Mm-hmm. Um, then he isn't, <laughs> and the then the claymation rabbit weird. comes to life. Yeah, yeah. You need, but can you, still dance. You need to be stoned. So is he, he's in the desert. Is he just he like? Is he just had some peyote he's, or something? <laughs> he's doing like he's a spirit Jackson quest. That's he's on. He's, he is. He's on one of his spirit, spirit quests. Quest. This is his spirit animal, maybe. I don't maybe, know. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. But then, I, I, it just. I am. It's insane. I, I actually am running out of things. I, I have no words for this experience <laughs> because I'm. I, and this is this 100. percent I'm trying to find. Yeah. What is it about this? So, it's because it's kind. It's really slapsticky, but it's also kind of. Uh, because it's quite clear because he of the whole "Leave Me Alone" song. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. quite clear that he also has a problem with the level how of the fame, fame that he's and achieved. How media treats him. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And so his answer to that mm. is like what to make it like a a Looney Tunes cartoon. The, the way that I his think fans to, chase well, him at this stage in his career, they're they're like the um. Him sleeping in an oxygen tank rumor had already happened. Right, like there was a what whole. What does that do? What does that? That was. That, a... What does that do for you? Is that good? <laughs> well, for starters, it wasn't true. Oh, okay. It was a whole big thing where he um, wanted to. It was uh, raising money for kids for cancer, and the guys who scientists who came up with <laughs> this thing, yeah, right, uh, made it so these kids. I don't know how it helps them. 
but he wanted it's to... It's like a bubble boy situation, isn't like it? Like a bubble boy situation, right. probably. He wanted to go in, lie down, and, and, and just have a look and lie down in there and go, sure. how does it feel like for them? Is yeah, it yeah, okay? okay? And all okay. that sure. stuff. Now, while he was doing that, he laid down just for a second, closed his eyes, and someone took a, ca- a photo. Sure. Michael Jackson sleeps in a in an oxygen chamber. I mean, look, so all let's of be these real, things, it's not the worst thing that was being no, said. No, obviously him. not. No, but back in the day, it's going to blow up but with everything. It's, I mean, I'd be pretty comfortable with that if someone. I would if, if, I would be like, yeah, whatever. It's care. comfortable. Sure. I'm still not quite the, sure what it does. <laughs> <laughs> What's the benefit? Is it, is, like, is it like bathing in virgin yeah. blood? Is that what he's doing? Is <laughs> that what's where happening I'm here? Going. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a, it's am a, I going to maintain youth? my youthfulness? Right. Is what I'm saying? Because I'm in. I'm interested. Let's, um, let's look, invest. Can I get my hands on one? Where do they sell them? Where do they sell them? Where do they sell them? Um, eBay is the place. Yeah. So yeah. So from that, you're getting a lot of these things. So it, I feel that because essentially you have uh, leave me alone, and then it goes to the extreme of if you go further down his career. To scream with Janet Jackson, mm, mm. it's the same story. Leave just sure, sure. Know, but it's it seems to pretty, the yeah. It seems pretty that. common yeah. um, with him for him. Yeah, yeah. all oh, these, huge. all that is a. It's obviously something that kind of troubled him a lot of his life. Mm. Um, and we'll get to some of the other kind of, I think, very clear mm. kind of um, uh, problems that he that he had because I think they're on. Quite, pretty obviously on display as well, mm, yeah. but um, uh, the Leave Me Alone film clip though, I love it. Oh, can we just take a moment? I, I just I fucking adore how the rabbit comes out of the rock and winks, yeah, and gives him like a claymation <laughs> next time, buddy, kind you of thing. It. After the exactly. cop from Footloose comes and tells him <laughs> that he can't dance. Um, and I want that sign. If anyone has that sign, what a great sign. How good is that sign? Yeah, it's and it's good. all weathered and it's old and yeah, shit. I, like it. I love it. But that that is such a set. Like it's such a, and it's not even like a good. Uh, no, but that's why painting. I think that it that's why is I, just I, a, it must be Looney Tunes inspired, not just because yeah, of the rabbit. I, exactly. I think it's really deliberately mm. trying to do it. I think he literally just wanted to go. No, no, old no, school. I want a cutting. rabbit of myself because it has his hair. <laughs> I want a I want a rabbit <laughs> version of myself, and I want to I want to dance off, and because it's a dance off, it is a dance off, and it's a rad dance. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the Leave Me Alone film clip, Leave Me Alone film clip, which is fine. It's I think it's I don't think it's one of his strongest film clips. No, um, I, I don't think so. It's a bit of fun, but I love the song more than I think. Anything. The song the is song the song's is great. Awesome. It's not it's not really a, it's not like a it's not a big banger though, is it? Like it's no, but it's, it's not a one of the ones that you can it's, get in a groove and have a boogie with. No, but um, he has those. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you, you need the the songs that you can just have no, a listen to. No, of course. To, I, it, look, yeah. it, it, for me, it doesn't rate as like I'd never mention it in the conversation of best MJ songs. But oh, okay. it's it's fine. That's that it's a there. good top ten. Jesus. Yeah, I know it's tough. That's that's, that's, that's tough. That's, that's tough. I'm not doing that. Jesus. Um, I'm doing that when we. Finish I'm pretty this. sure I've got my number ah! one though. <laughs> number one. Yeah. Oh really? Go on. It's maybe we'll save it. We'll save it. No, we'll do top three real quick. Oh, think of them while we're doing. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Um, so, but that film clip, it, mm. what I found really interesting about that is is it's like the metaphor of that film clip is so clear. Very strong. But yeah. only because they throw so much shit in it that something is bound to come from it. You know, it's like one of those situations where it's just like, because so much random shit just pops out and moves around and yeah, swings yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. Some of it is bound to land. Do you know what I mean? They've yeah. thrown all the shit at the wall and some of it sticks. Yeah. So, you know, you're watching and you're like, okay, cool. It's like this fairground thing. It's a metaphor for the, you know, for the the, um, the kind of the, the uh, attraction mm. of, of, of of his career and yeah. how he's turned into something, you know, like. Almost like a freak or a circus yeah, yeah, freak exactly, or something like exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. But then, you know, like a, a dog will pop up in the corner with a hat on and yeah. go woof, woof, and pop back down again. You're like, okay. Sure. What's going on? And yeah, there's, sure. like there's just monkeys and snakes and things and it's just rockets and you're just kind of like, all right, cool. I'm and going then, with and you. Yeah, and then Elizabeth Tyler rocks up and you're like, what the well, fuck the, the is Elizabeth going? Taylor stuff, I think, kind of. It was him. It was he. Kind was of obsessed. Makes sense. He yeah, was obsessed with was it, obsessed, wasn't he? Yeah. 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 Um, Which at that stage, if you can be obsessed with someone that is famous as Elizabeth Taylor, then why not? If you're friends, they ended up being friends. Sure. Great. Whatever. Yeah. Good on him. But, but yeah, you do get that sense of of he clearly has an issue with the media because there he sees himself almost as well. If you're going to treat me as as an amusement park, then yeah, and he fine. kind of has the balls to throw those to use the newspapers, and I I feel like they were probably real headlines as yeah, well and stuff yeah, like that. Were, yeah. Um, and so you know, like it's a you know it's an interesting choice. Mm. I don't know what it's doing in this movie I don't because I'm this is the thing I'm trying to find I'm trying to find the through line yeah yeah because I think it based was, on what happens in this next section mm-hmm. I think it 
kind of... Are you trying to find a connection? Yeah. If, you, if you make the, th- the connection, it's yeah. actually pretty kind of messed up. In the Leave s- me alone into... Leave me alone okay. because I'm actually the saviour of the universe. Oh. Is, and so it's, it's, it's a little bit weird, but... Maybe he thinks he's an alien. But that's already taken. That's Bowie. You can't be both. True. You true. can't be both. Should um, we get, like, can no, we just, but I think oh, I, no, going, on get... what you, going on what you were saying, I think it's just a breather for me. I take Leave Me Alone in this movie, if you're going to analyze it, as a breather. Because you've just gotten a storyline within yeah, Speed look, Potentially, Demon, potentially. And then a breather, and then let's go to the main narrative. Yeah. yeah. No, so you, that's yeah. what I see it as. And I also really see it as, here's another one of my film groups. As well. Yeah, look, and Taking that's it potentially it. I'm just, I, I think he, at some point, obviously, he yeah. has this very large selection of film clips to choose from. There's a reason why he chose that one. And I, that's yeah, what I'm yeah. trying to kind of put my, my own head, like... Around. Put, uh, what am I, yeah, I'm trying to put his brain in my head for, wow. that, for that moment to kind of... His brain in your head. That's, I, there's a saying that I'm just I'm completely getting wrong. I'm trying to put myself in his shoes, let's say. There that. we go. I'm there trying to put choose. myself in his head. Uh, no, that uh, also no, works. Sure. Um, Fuck. To see why why these particular songs were chosen, because mm-hmm. I think on the overall scheme of things, I'm, I honestly have no idea why Come Together is at the end. Is at the end? Um, I literally know that it's because he just, just bought because the he rights. bought the rights. Yeah. 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 Um. Well, for me, the movie ends anyway at. Yeah. The, at that once, once the, yeah. Um, <laughs> and that's <laughs> that's very enemies. much a, just a, 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 a an epilogue. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. That's and roll and roll credits. Roll, roll credits. I'm, roll. I'm doing this. Yeah, but we'll get to that. Um, so let's start it. Yeah. Look, here we go. And this here is we go. this is where we can actually talk about a, a narrative, yep. a, a a story proper. Yeah. We get some acting, which I'd like to start off by saying, and even looking at it now, I think Michael Jackson could act. I think he can hold his own. I'm not saying that he's Oscar worthy. I'm not saying that he's Daniel Day Lewis. No. I'm saying that. Daniel Day Lewis as Michael Jackson. No, by no the way. I'm not doing that. No, no, no. I'm we're, all not about that. we're not going there. We're not going there. He's way too tall for starters. The man's like freakish, isn't he? Isn't Daniel Day Lewis like 6'5? I uh, don't know. Really? Okay, I'm going to look it up. Um, he can do it though. But he can he can act. There was some. There I was think some... act's a strong word. Ah! I, think he, I don't think he completely embarrasses himself. He reminds me when he's playing sport with the kids, he reminds me of Tommy Wiseau throwing a football around in the room. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. That's terrible. Um, I will go on record, though, saying that he acted the pants off of Prince. I saw Purple Rain. There was nothing there. Um, there was literally nothing there. I would say, but because, because what MJ ends up doing mm. is presenting himself as this kind of almost like mythical figure. So he doesn't even really need to be a character because he's just more of a presence. Do you know what I mean? Like A guardian, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of the galaxy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what he believes. <laughs> So we get this kind of... We get the start that kind of... How does it start again? Okay, so it's, it's, it starts uh, with the kids... In the park? No, right? no. So th- th- there's oh, a little... Oh, that's right. Yeah, we the see the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the the guns go off and everything. That's right, um, the street kids. So we see kids, him yeah. coming out of his house, his house looking yeah. schmick. Michael yeah. Jackson always looked good. Always. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe after... He's got a weird... I mean, I don't understand his fashion sense. To me, it's kind of like... It's not stuff that I would ever wear. I remember thinking about it while watching the Come Together film clip, and I was like... Fuck yes, mate. This is... Yes. It's just... I I mean, you're you're making it work. I don't know exactly. I looked at that when I was a kid. I was like, I want to wear a belt that big. That belt is massive. It's so strange that people found him, like, physically attractive, though. Yeah, I never saw that. Because he's like an alien. Like, Mm, he has, like... He's extremely thin. Really thin and, like, no contour at all on his body and super feminine, Mm. but, like... I don't know. Yeah. But does like sexy war, moves exactly. and stuff war and girls make crazy. And yeah. All of that stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I, anyway. didn't, I didn't see the sex appeal. But. So yeah, we do get, that's the opening. We get an opening of the kids on the but roof. then we cut to the flashback of them all playing sports together. No, no, no. We still need to get into, no, because we get an introduction into Joe Pesci's character at this point. Oh, no, no, wait. No, we don't. Oh, no, we don't. We don't Sorry, get I've it jumped, I've jumped. Yeah. In. So yeah, we do. We cut back to the park. And so this, because of the way this had been structured so far. Right? This movie has this incredible ability, yep. and I've never encountered it in a movie before, but this movie has the ability to make me forget the scene that came prior to the next scene. Yes. I've, so I've written something about it. Kick on. I was, I'm watching them play ball, yep. or whatever soccer. game they're playing, soccer. soccer. And I think it's no taxis, backsies. I think that's the game they're playing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not... It's fine. It's fine. Do you know, you, you did mention it's, that it's, it's a bit kind of sus now to look at. And I'm like, do you know what? I actually don't think it's... It's not for you? 
I'm I was only saying fine that with it. I'm a, yeah. For me, it's it's we'll we'll get into this later. Sure. But for me, this is there's nothing sus here for me. Yeah. Someone else watching this, sure, knowing sure, what they sure. knowing what the allegations were, um, would come at it from a different point. Yeah. And in my head, I was like, mm. what, are we, "What are we? What are we doing? We're here playing soccer." What, what? I was just watching something, and it's like that bit in Labyrinth where she's in the thing and she's like in her bedroom, and she's like, "I'm meant to be doing what, something." Wasn't I doing what was something? I meant to be? Do- this is how I feel watching this movie. I was I like, "I gotta save Toby." I was watching something. <laughs> was I watching? Now I'm just watching like this this glazed Dreams. over dream and it's sequence so glazed, isn't where it? he's playing soccer with kids in this magical forest that I looks know. and it's like the, it's beautiful. It's got like budding flowers everywhere I know. and it's all ha 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 a kick. I know. Oh. And a big dog, a big shaggy dog yeah. thing that looks very Michael, manicured. Michael, Michael. Yeah. I'm like, this is a fucking nightmare sequence. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. It's terrifying. <laughs> and I couldn't think it for the life of me. I'm like, what happened before this moment? Yeah. And then the dog runs off. The dog runs off. They go after the dog. The ball gets busted. The ball gets busted. <laughs> and then they go They go into... And he makes, like, he makes one of them come with him. Yeah, the little girl. Yeah. What was her name? I can't remember. Damn it. Um, and he's, he's like... And they just walk. He's dressed like Mr. Robinson too. Like, oh, what's yeah, his name? Like, like, he's got a thing. real, like, a sensible cardi yeah. on. Like, <laughs> a little badge thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he goes in and they go into this forest and all of a sudden this forest turns into... Uh, the forest in the Vich. Oh yeah, it's fucking. <laughs> and you're like, Jesus, yeah, this thing it's turned. terrifying. <laughs> this thing Ter- and I was like, but considering what I'd seen so far, I was like, we're gonna get some fucking weird yeah, shit. Yeah, like bring it on. I thought, you know, like a little Alice in Wonderland yeah. caterpillar type deal. You know, maybe something yeah. weird. No, no. We, we get go. nightmare type style uh, uh, cobwebs. Oh, that's right. That are the- coming out of nowhere, and you're like, you wouldn't walk in. I'm not that scared of spiders, and I wouldn't fucking walk into that shit. But he walks in. He's like, no, no, no. Where is this dog? Yeah, pa-pa, I want Yeah. And you, they're looking for the dog, looking for the dog. And then they see, which is quite clearly a fucking door, that opens via touching the spider. Tyson. Yes. And this is where, as an adult, I've gone, fuck off. No, it's Seriously? a fake spider. No, no, no. You, you know it's a fake spider. But Tyson, you're not going in a door that opens when you touch the no, fake spider. No, it's a good spider. point. And there's no chance the dog got in there. So exactly. you're kind of like... So what are you doing You just ignore point? that. You just kind of go, you know what? There's probably some really shady shit going on in here. <laughs> I'm going to have a look. It's not really my business. Exactly. I'm going to find a dog. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to I'm going to go this way where there aren't fucking monstrous type she lob style spider webs. Oh my God, yeah. And you're like, no, I'm going to pass. And you back the fuck out of there. Yeah. But instead, they, they go... He, I love how he goes, hang on a minute. And he pushes the spider and it goes, and it, and it opens the door that's yeah. quite clearly in front of them. And then they end up walking down and then we get the introduction into Joe Pesci. We do. Which. I, Joe Pesci. Uh, he's one it, of a, I found in, 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 in the words of my friend Tice, I found Joe Pesci's character so fascinating while watching this the <laughs> first time. I really did because we're going to get into this later. So he's a drug dealer. Yes. A drug dealer. Yeah. So he's a drug dealer that has an army of men an army of spiders and an army of dogs who has a base that opens via touching the spider and he has a planet exploding rocket gun <laughs> that's massive and i'm like what is this character who does he do what what like what wh- where is he getting this money from what is his end game how do i find out these are all very good questions <laughs> I got nothing for you. you. I've literally got nothing because we get nothing in... (laughs) This is... So... (laughs) This is what I was talking about before. I think Michael Jackson, and I think it's something that's been talked about, we all know Mm. that he had a real real imbalance when it came to understanding maturity. Yeah. He remained very childlike for a lot of his life because I think that's what he felt most comfortable in and he was never... He never wanted to be a mature grown-up and so he lived a bit of a Peter Pan-ish existence. Yeah. This is this is the writing of a child mm. because it's like I'm going to write a bad guy. Well, what does my bad guy do? do? Yep. He tries to sell drugs to kids because that's did, the worst thing you could do. How does he do that? By via spiders. Via spiders. Okay, how does that work? Yeah. We, it's he's not got the a point. army of spiders, and he's also got like robot army with big guns. Um, and he wears heels. Um, I love that he was like, heels. <laughs> like the, it's just it's so, and I love that bit where. Um, because, like, his dialogue is garbage. Mm. Like, absolutely garbage. Oh, stupid. And he's like, um, make sure they spell my name right. Yeah. Frankie Ledeo. L-I-D-E-O. Um, yeah. And then it cuts out to Mike and he goes, Ledeo. <laughs> like, Which... I'm going to remember that name. And it, like, never comes up again. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, and then it's the, it's, it's the same thing happens. He says some random shit like, um, I want to get all the kids 
ah, I'm going to get drugs to all I the kids. I want everyone to know because you high because of me. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, exactly. I want yeah. everyone to know that I got all the kids on drugs. And it cuts up to Michael. And he's like, why would anyone do that? <laughs> I'm like, you, this is a child trying to write this. Do you know, it's yeah, really yeah. like it's being dumbed down to the most, the like, most base levels of what's evil and what's not evil. Yeah. I'm just amazed Joe Pesci wanted to do it. Like, I'd be looking at it like, be you've got to be kidding me. They'd man. be paying. This is this is this is ridiculous. Yeah, and I think yeah. he's quite bad in this. Like, really? Yeah, I, I love him in this. I think he's just it's it's pretty awful. Oh, I love him. I love it. But that's I'm biased. So, sure. Yeah, sure. I'm Absolutely totally biased. Absolutely. But yeah. And I so, don't. well, they manage to escape mm. the spider They, they run out, yeah. which you don't see, and then it... But it cuts back it to, back to the scene before, which, which made me go, oh, that's right. We were watching this bit where he was in the white suit. Yeah. So is that the same... Like, what happened to him between... We all never know. Like, and that's where... comfy sweater soccer player <laughs> and pimped up gangster. Full gangster, full smooth criminal outfit. Full smooth criminal. Yeah. It's the same guy. It is. Apparently. What the hell? How much time has passed? We is, don't know. Is the world overrun by Ledeo's plan? Exactly. Because he seems to have, like, a, a big just fucking army at his disposal. But he really, really wants to kill Michael Jackson still. So it can't have been that long. And and it was at this point when I'm watching it as an adult, and I'm like, do you know what I'm watching here? I'm watching the f- the Act 3 when I haven't seen Act 1 or 2. Yes. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but there is history here. Something's going on. There is There is a movie before this that hasn't been shot that clearly was Moonwalker. Oh, I don't want to see. I don't ever need to see it. Yes, you do. No. We're going to do it. And it will be episode, uh, whatever. It'll be our bonus episode. It'll be a bonus. Episode 100. Yeah. When, when it comes out. What, I would love for it to come smash. out. But yeah, it has that feel. You're like, this is a third act. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. Because um, that ending, like him, so it goes from him on the stairs being shot and then Joe Pesci's voice just coming, where is he? Where like, is he? This is part of what and was driving me up the wall because every single scene was, it goes on a you bit. got. Joe Pesci's improv, just screaming. Get him! I want him! I want him over here! What's that over there? Was that him? Make him a make him a stain on the concrete. But I just like, <laughs> like it gets so lazy. Where yeah, after a little great. while, he's just like instead of it, yeah, stuff like that. Did you get him? Did you get him? Did you get him? What, yeah. was, what was the funniest one? Where it's like something falls over, and he's like, "I heard something fall." Was that him? <laughs> and I, I heard gunfire. Did you get him? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I loved it oh because it's Joe Pesci's voice as well. I but it's it. not like he's not anywhere to be seen. He just stood in a studio no. and they just said, "Just riff a bit, yell, riff a bit. yell these lines, pretend yeah. you're looking for Michael Jackson." Yeah. In the meantime, though, Michael Jackson and Tom Cruise in a in a running race. I want to see that. It will never happen. But I imagine he can leg it, man. Yeah, Are you he serious? Goes he goes. Look, like, I mean, it's got a nice visual style to it. This section, I think, mm. I like the the kind of the aesthetics of the streets and all that kind but of. But this stuff. is where he came into play. Like he was like he liked this how. Shadows worked so working a lot more with you're going to see him run, but you're actually looking at his shadow. There was some running clever in. shadow yeah. stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. That and that was cool, and that yeah. was cool. Um, and then he turns into a car, and then he turns <laughs> into the most badass futuristic car that still makes Nick get a boner. <laughs> so I was like, Whoa, so this is this car. I this, love it. I love it. This is when I'm 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 really struggling. Tyson has tuned out. No, because like okay, so. It's, this movie's this movie asks a lot of you, I think. Oh, yeah, it totally. asks it asks you to go it asks along you to just break on down a the barriers pretty wild ride. And let's let's make the smoke come in. No. Yeah. Yeah. So I was I was okay. I was going with it. I was like, I'm just gonna see where this goes. And I he's leaning up, up against the wall and he sees the shooting star. Yeah. And then he kind of And then it cuts to his shadow him. and he kind of looks like he's morphing a little bit. And yeah. I was like, oh, maybe he's going to like disappear through the wall and that's how he's going to end up in the club. Cool. That's okay. I can deal with that. Sure. Or maybe he's going to, I don't know, he might turn into something that flies away and lands somewhere else. This is Michael Jackson though. And the magic is there. <laughs> and he can do whatever he wants. And he turns into a car that is so futuristic, <laughs> even to this day, that what it has one it? headlight at the front. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And it is all that beautiful 80s silver that, that is made, like, it looks like the DeLorean silver. It did. I thought it might have been a DeLorean for no. a second, and I thought that would have been cool. And those wheels, like, the just the four holes in to, to make it look like almost so, like a domino yeah, okay. piece. I don't know, though, man. Like, so and he shoots say, off. <laughs> you're in a situation where you're in a dead end. Yeah. You, you want to try and get away from these guys. Sure. You can turn into anything. Yeah. You turn into a car. You t- <laughs> You're on board for this? I'm on board for this. He, he made the right choice. <laughs> um, I, um, you don't just turn into magic fairy dust and fly away. No, no, no. Yeah. You turn into a car. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's the 80s. It was. It was. It was. It was, it was so badass. There was so much cocaine. No, because it, then around. it gives the story a bit more, well, we need to chase him. What was that? And they go after him. Sure. And that's where it can bleed into the final act. Well, bit. I think that's what that was setting up. Because uh, just, in, uh, just in my mind right now, <laughs> I'm, 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 I really struggled with this. How do we get from the car to the nightclub again? He drives there. <laughs> <laughs> in himself, because he is the car. <laughs> Good. Good. I'm glad we saw that out. He drives there. He does. Okay. Yeah. He is the car, but he drives there himself. Can we, can, can we just start talking about some <laughs> Because it's so good, but everything else is just such I rubbish. Know. Did you like this part? I really did. I really did. I mm. think it's fantastic. Yeah. It's such a good film. Did clip. you notice his suit changed when he went in? Oh, no, no, I didn't. There you go. So his pinstripe in the running. Where is he? Where is he? Yeah. He's standing on the concrete. Opens the thing and he goes into the, the white suit. So what is this place? Just a magical place. Just a magical place. Magical club bar. 30s did exist. The actual club itself yeah. that he liked. Um, cool. But so with all the smoke and stuff. Yeah. So we meant to assume that it's not... So because I think it's just a, a place that he, his character... Like a safe haven for his character where I he f- can do what he wants. What I found was interesting was that um, it, they make it seem like that it's nothing. Mm. But then you walk through the magic... And it's all there. Exactly. So well, you the magic to, is Michael Jackson. So yes. You walk, have maybe to walk he bought. With that's it. Maybe Michael he brings Jackson. the magic, yeah. and these people are ghosts. Exactly. Because that's what in, you, you do uh, get. Uh, yeah, is this what I'm meant to assume? Sense. Yeah. Because you do get the kids but, go in there beforehand, and you, you and get that, no, yeah, and there's, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Yeah. But when all the soldiers show up, mm. everyone flips out and starts shooting at them exactly. and shit. So they're there. Yeah. They're there the whole time. They must yeah, there's be. that one guy who shoots that turns into like a, a, a stain on the wall. Exactly. What happened to him? That's Michael Jackson going, no, I don't actually want a body. I wonder what can we do to, to get rid of the body? That's a good he point. goes, okay, we'll just We're still going to make it family we'll, friendly. We'll, exactly. This has to be, it's PG because there are drugs talked about. Yes. If, there's a, a lot. <laughs> and it's talked about in the way that nobody knows anything about drugs. Exactly. Talks about them. Which I love. Yeah. I'm going to put love. drugs in We're going to put drugs in the drugs. <laughs> I'm going to get it. I'm let's gonna, get I'm going to poke you with my drugs. high. What? Fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. He beats the fuck out of that girl, by the way. We'll get to that. We're getting to that. We're getting to that. We're still in, we're still in Smooth Criminal. Sorry. So we start with Smooth Criminal. And yeah. this, at this point, Tyson, one of the coolest moments in cinematic history happened. He flicks a coin across the room and it goes into a jukebox. Yes. And then, bow! And then Smooth Criminal It's so starts. good. It's so good. I'll tell you what, though. What I found confusing about it is I couldn't quite tell when the... If they were on his side or not. Sometimes they're like, hey, we like you and we're going to do dance with you. Oh, and then no, other no, times, no, like, we're, we're going to beat you up. We're going to beat you up, but they follow him in like dance moves. In like dance moves. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. oh, I can't get you because I'm dancing. <laughs> if only I wasn't dancing, I could get closer with this Massive bulky. Oh, I love that bit. I fucking love that the, bit. It's, man, the Corey in this, the staging in it, it's, all, it's all so fucking That's good. The thing, I man. love the set too. The set is so cool. Mm. Um, it's just such a great space. Like that, that, uh, that galleyway thing that kind of lowers down. And, and he then, dances uh, on it and it's intense. Oh, it and the, even the, so cool. the aerial shots that you get of him facing, but everyone behind him is doing the same. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. It's, and that's the thing. At the end of the day, he, you have to remember that he was such a great entertainer. And he's trying to bring that into a, a movie feel. Does it work? Maybe. Maybe not. But that's, that's the craziness of, of Moonwalker. I think that's, that's he tried to do something that was just bizarre. I know. I think he accomplished that. And I think he accomplished that. <laughs> he, he's, but he's done a pretty bang up me, job. It was, it was entertaining. Yeah. Maybe you do need some drinks to, to start you off, but hey. You're, yeah. you're going to be dancing and singing at the end of this thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah. Oh, smooth what was I going to say? Yeah, the smooth cream, well, it's all good. It's mm. all good. I don't know. It's 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 not worth it. Just watch it. Just watch that chunk. It's exactly. amazing. I re- actually really like the little extended bit in the middle too, where yeah, it kind of goes quiet and there's weird little noises and little mm. and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And, st- and then it just slowly yeah. kind of goes, boom, back mm. into it again. And it's bang and yeah. it starts oh, off. Yeah. And they're all singing it. Yeah, like it kind of becomes like a chant and it stuff. Does, it's yeah. pretty cool. It's very cool. It's a little, just a tad drama school for me. Um, uh, just, yeah. Just no, a touch. Just a touch. But yeah, I love it because it's it's the silence before the massive dance break, ding, which ding, ding, I know ding, 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 all of those moves backwards. And I used to get my dad to hold my T-shirt as I'd lent. Ah, uh, nice. That's really and cute. And I used to do that. Yeah. Amazing. That's and it really was fun. for year. I love that he kept that a secret. He never, it only came out Ooh. last year or the year before that his shoes were actually locked into oh, the you floor. You can see the little things on the yeah, floor. You can, but 
everyone's like, oh my God, how did he do it? I'm like, well, well, it's not just him. It's the other dudes too. Yeah, I know. Everyone. Get five it's guys everyone. to do it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was, I was, everyone was caught I was safely everyone assumed. Caught on? I think everyone's caught on. <laughs> I don't think anyone was like, oh, it was on Twitter the other day. Hey, it was did you awesome. hear that he, he actually didn't do oh, that no, thing? He didn't. he didn't. Where he broke the laws of physics. It was all him. Yeah, no, I'm pretty safe. I love that one. Look, it looks fucking great. It's it's a really great effect. Um. But then... Well, then the kid gets kidnapped. Katie, that's her name. Katie. Katie gets kidnapped, and in a messed up way, too. Like, she's... Who's looking after these kids? Like, are we... Can we say... So, is, are, they, are these kids homeless? Is that what's happening here? Well, I feel I, like these I kids are homeless. So. They're homeless I mean, I kids. So. He's just looking after homeless kids. Is, em, is he playing himself I don't this? know. I because don't know. I feel he's playing weird... the Guardian. So, is yeah, it's just because some he kind has of weird Guardian. Magic powers that... And they speak of him like, oh, I've got a, it's a lucky star for Michael. I have to pick a lucky star for Michael. He needs one. I'm like, so obviously you've talked to him before. So they know. Is he made up? So they're aware yeah. that he can like turn into a car and shit. Yeah, they're <laughs> like, aware. They're Clearly. just like, cool. They didn't know he can turn into a fucking transformer, but you know, they can. <laughs> well, why not? I mean, what's fucking, what's if you see car? someone turn into a car, car, it's not like you sit there and go. Oh, but I didn't know about that Transformer thing, exactly. though, right? Um, so, yeah. So, Katie gets stolen, right? And then they this, this, they realize she's been stolen. The fact that her teddy bear has been messed up and is covered in spiders. Aww. And these spiders are fucking yeah, scary. I, don't, I wasn't cool with all the spider stuff, <laughs> to be honest. Um, my favorite line of dialogue, though. I'll go on. Well, actually, I've got two favorite lines of dialogue. Oh, I like it. Um, first one is this one where after she gets kidnapped and they're, they're like, Michael, 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 blah, blah, blah. He goes to him, why didn't you come and get me? I was in right here. I was here. just there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that. And in my head, Who's I'm like, like script writing? It's seriously. so good. Imagine while they're all like, everyone's dancing. Hey, are you okay? Are, are you, you okay? okay? My God, Katie's gone. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, guys. Can yeah, we we're going to have to we're gonna we'll have take, take five. Shit. Take five. I'll be back in a second. But he treats it like he was just having a beer with his mates. And or it wasn't was just this in- magical <laughs> bar where it spontaneously broke out into a fucking dance battle. That he ends with firing a Tommy gun into the air. <laughs> exactly. Like- and he's running around. Tommy, are you sure he's come and got me? I was just having a beer with my there. friends. I was literally just. Well, we here. didn't want to get you because you were firing a Tommy gun. <laughs> I, didn't, yeah, I didn't want to get you. And because I, didn't I didn't want to get shot. Like, yeah, that's pretty funny. It's so great, like and he that. delivers it so sincerely. Why didn't you just get? Yeah, that's Why didn't you come true. and get me? I was in right here. All right, well, maybe his acting wasn't that spot on. <laughs> well, it's not his fault. That <laughs> no, line is terrible. What was the other it. line you liked? Uh, we'll get to it. I'll get to it later. Well, look, and from here on, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I was paying very little attention. Um, it, it was on. Well, there's no. <laughs> it was definitely on What's the television, <laughs> and but I was just. Oh, actually, no. I watched this next bit because it's really funny. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was look. To be honest, I wasn't paying attention at <laughs> no. all at anything because I didn't no, know what the fuck was going I, on. I paid attention up to the point where he started transforming, and right. I was like, "This is this is <laughs> why you're off the edge." And so Tyson I was, is gone. Off it was the really edge. late, and I was watching it oh, in bed, dude. and I was kind of like, "Oh, you were in and out." Okay, it's oh, fine. Okay. So I just kind of was doing my nighttime routine at the same it in time. Bed? You can't watch this in bed. You need to get up and dance to this thing. Yeah, you need to. We're, we're going to watch this again. We're going to get drunk, and then we're going to do it. And we're, you it's, said, uh, it's a different kettle of fish exactly. if there's some, if there's some, some uh, uh, activities if, involved. Exactly. If Tyson's lick it up a bit, and every time they say the words Michael, you Michael. have to have a shot. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's not do that. But um, no, so but I, yeah. I tell a lie. I did pay attention to, yeah, when he, Cause it does get when a little, he basically a little, beats the shit out of this girl. It gets a little serious, and yeah, it's <laughs> fucking violent. So weird. He gives her like an old school backhand. Yeah, and, like, no, but <laughs> really like cracking her around. And, it's, and he's like, we're going to put these drugs in you. We're going to put them in you. <laughs> Michael gives out the fucking leave her alone, and I love it, it was so intense. much. And he beats the shit out of Michael too. Yeah, he gives him a good gives fucking a massive gut kick. kick to the guts. <laughs> it's just so funny though, and I know it's not meant to be, yeah. but God, like, and this is amazing to think about is that he probably thinks that it's like this real serious. Oh, this is shit. a serious tone. This is the serious hey, part of the movie. Yeah, yeah, he really thinks it's going for it, he's and like, so oh he's God, like, "Yeah, I wanted serious. to hit it. I wanted to hit her." And st- like you know, like, like getting, okay, really what, get into it. I want it to look like he's re- he's really hitting her, and yeah. they you know, do it well. Though. They do it know, in yeah, shadows, he's so it's not clearly hitting not hitting her, her but, at all. But, but he's, he wants to make it feel kind of intense, and he's like, "Yeah, really, get the syringe close and like you know." Which is fucking massive, by the way. This needle is huge. Well, it's like what's he, it's fucking what's he it's, injecting it with? It's a problem. Like, who cares? Who cares? Who cares at this yeah, point? Like any amount of whatever he's doing is just gonna like she's gonna fucking mm. pulp fiction out of here. She's just gonna she's gonna make a wall pass out and shake on the ground. Exactly. That's so true. He's going to kill her. It's an OD dose. But I just me. love how excited he is to get kids stoned. <laughs> fucking scary. It's so funny. It's not fucking... It's fucking scary. 
<laughs> oh, drugs. Joe Pesci, man. Joe Pesci. And then... What then? Michael Jackson just turns into a robot. <laughs> he just flat out turns into a robot. <laughs> how good was that CG? Come on. Wait, how did it, you watch it, this? It doesn't look too bad. Yeah, um, I watched it. Well, I watched it on Netflix, so it's Netflix, HD. Yeah. Um, yeah, the CG's come up pretty good, man. I it's remember still thinking good. that it, it doesn't look too well, shabby. That's because it's, yeah, he spent, this is, he spent money, this is where the money went in. Um, yeah, exactly. I mean, there's some and moments every, here and there where it's just like, mm, but yeah, it looks a bit dodgy. So when, he, when he turns into the ship and the ship has a background, I'm like, eh, yeah, yeah. So there's that? the progression. There's the, well, he starts by turning into like no, no, a no, normal. No, no, wait, wait. He starts off, his, he turns metal. And then right. his face, for some reason, just does this alien thing where it goes, goes chunk, yeah, and it comes out, and he does. And one that's of his when Michael Joe kind of realizes that he's, you're like, he's up what shit creek. The fuck is going yeah. on? And I love how all the well, I mean, that question no longer became relevant <laughs> like half an hour ago. Like I stopped saying it because I was just like, I I was watching it and shit would happen. <laughs> I'm like, well, of course. Well, obviously, I mean, obviously, Why what, what, what other option? Why is there? wouldn't his face explode? Yeah. Obviously, it's going to do that. I love this movie. I love this movie so hard. I like it's Joe awesome. Pesci's little fucking head thing that he's got going on. Oh, this the, weird little it's like a ponytail, but it's not. Knot. It's almost a top it's a, knot, but it's, a it's like a mini Marge Simpson. Yeah. Like at the back of his head. He's like rolled his hair up into a bun that is straight. Yes. Yeah. I still love that he wears Trendy. heels. Uh, I mean, it's a good I look think, for I him. I think because he wants to make, make him a little bit taller. Because Joe Pesci is very short. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what, very, other, very what other purpose is there? Fashion. Maybe. Maybe he's because maybe there's some Prince correlation there because oh, okay. they were very, they were very. It was very. You were either Michael Jackson or Prince. There wasn't. There was a time where a collaboration was on the cards. Oh, yeah, but Prince was like, yeah, you're a rival. I'm not doing that. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah I'm not doing that. Yeah, fuck yeah, Prince. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stick it to the man. Um, but how good would that have song have been? Come yeah. on, come on. Well, I don't know, man. Ebony and Ivory is not a great song, so <laughs> and that's like if, and you had, only, if you had told me what oh, let, let's put MJ and Paul McCartney in a yeah, room together, exactly. I would expect something better yeah, than that yeah. shit. Oh, I hate that fucking song. Out of all the songs, I hate that duet. I oh, hang on. One. No, that did "Girl Is Mine." Ebony Girl and Ivory is, is Stevie Wonder Stevie and Wonder. Paul is McCartney. Another one it? you would think, yeah, yeah. Girl is mine is still not great. But no, I hate Girl is mine. I fucking hate it. I hate that bit I at the end. Always flicked it. Always no, she's mine, fashion. Michael. Oh, no, she's oh, mine. Ryan. You keep dreaming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck no. I hate that fucking song. No, she's mine. You keep dreaming. Yeah. Um, no. Anyway. But yeah. So there's the progression. So there's yes, the progression. he goes metal, goes then his metal. face explodes. Then, no, no, no. He grows large, which you don't get because there's nothing to compare it to. Because yeah, so, he, yeah. for some reason, all of a sudden turns 10 foot. Yeah, it just looks like, like swollen, minute, what? swollen up. Yeah. So yeah, and then he starts. And then when does Joe Pesci go and get in his giant cannon? When things start going to shit. Well, of course, because he is just starts firing rockets at. They can't be robots. I thought they were robots because their face explodes when he goes ah, and he gives that big ho, oh, and they explode. Right? Who explodes? The the, the soldiers. Ro- the soldiers. Right. But they get scared because he's turning into a robot. They back up and go. I'm not fucking touching that. You go. Oh, okay. You touch that. So we just killed a whole bunch of people. I'm pretty sure we just killed a whole bunch of people. Oh, that's but cool. No, but they were gun-toting, drug-smuggling fucks. So we're going to kill them. the Spider Gang. Exactly. They were Spider Gang. Trying to put drugs in kids, man. Exactly. That's messed they up. Don't, don't put drugs in kids. Don't put drugs in kids. I mean, like, put good ones in them. Vaccinate your kids. That's what Vaccinate I'm trying to say. Vaccinate your kids. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Vaccinate your fucking kids. Smallpox is still a thing. You know, the plague is still around. You just have to get rid Maybe of it. Maybe Joe Pesci <laughs> was just like really pro-vaccination and he was seeing the way things were going and was just this like, This movie has turned around. You're telling me that Michael well, Jackson... kids are going to get fucking mumps and shit. Michael Jackson is an anti-vaxxer. Is that what you're fucking oh saying God, to me? Oh my God, we've cracked it. We've cracked it. We've found out what Moonwalker <laughs> is about. It's an anti-vaxxing movie. Fuck yes. That's I'm so true. proud of this. That's this is stupid. the best. This is no, we've done it. We've done it. Tell you what, if it's about anything, because this movie's about nothing, it yeah. might as well be about that. Yeah, um, fair deal. So, yeah, so he gets in his giant cannon. <laughs> yeah. He which, turns into a spaceship. Which, again, how, what, what kind of bad guy is this? It, it is true. I think you hit the nail on the head. It's a, it's a kid making up what a bad guy yeah. has. Well, because he escalates. Yeah. Like, at first of all, he's just kind of got an underground lair with some spiders floating around. Yeah. And then he's got this army button. full of, like, death fucking robots, like yeah. Nazi death squad. Yeah, that... <laughs> Yeah, and the then he's like, and badass. then he's got a giant world-ending cannon. Mm. It is, isn't it? It's, it's a kid, literally... down, and it's like a kid who you know when you like when little kids talk to other little kids and they keep trying to make things better each time. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, he's like the worst drug dealer ever, and some of the kids like oh yeah, really? He's like no, because he's got he's got soldiers too. Yeah, but oh, he okay. has spiders. Yeah, spiders, and he's and he's got a cannon, and it's the biggest cannon ever. I can like blow up a spaceship, <laughs> but it doesn't. It hits his spaceship, and his spaceship just goes oh, that, whoa, ooh, that ooh. hurt. <laughs> I gotcha, I gotcha, I got you, I got. You. That's right. Yeah, you're better at it than me. Yeah, I, so I honestly, um, I'm, oh, I'm trying to, I'm winging. 
times. from like half my paying favorite attention. Bit, my favorite bit is when he comes back up because he, he uh, Joe Pesci then aims at the ga- the cannon at the kids. Which if this is to happen, you're going to blow away this not only the kids but the city that's behind them. Oh yeah, there's <laughs> um, no consideration there's no for consider- any he, he civilians in this he whatsoever. I want to see this movie in its entirety. I want to see the the acts one and two because this act three is fucking insane. No one what's must- happened. Well, I mean, what world are we living in? There's no, like, there's no one in this town either. No, there's nobody else in that town. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, you know, we give shit <laughs> to like Man of Steel for killing a whole bunch of civilians. This thing's fucking up people left, right, and center. <laughs> Unless there's no one living there. In which case, what are what are we doing? Where there? are we? Why are there three homeless kids just running around in this empty city? I mean, that's this the is question. weird. This is weird. These are the questions that we come at. We'd like to talk to the directors if they'd like to contact Nick Tyson Videotape. We'd love to please, have you on. Please, we'd love to have you. I on. have a list of questions. <laughs> a list. But then he goes. So he goes to shoot the kids, right? And then this is one of my favorite bits. And if you you can only see it if you freeze frame it, right? Because when he comes up, he goes, "Oh!" And this force field cut thing comes out and blows up the thing. Now, yes, yes. his face. Do you see his face in the molding? So whose the, face? Michael Jackson, right? Going like oh, that. Yeah, okay. Coming out of the stream and hitting him. Do you see that? Uh, Did you see I'm, that? No, you don't not. pay attention. You are asleep at this point. I know. Tyson. I definitely. I definitely. You were asleep. It. Okay. I'm Jesus. like, I half watched it. He showed... <laughs> Jesus. I was aware of what was happening. You knew <laughs> that I knew this backwards. You're like, Nick and Nick and Nick and Nick and Nick and take Nick, the lead on this bad boy. Nick's got this one. <laughs> and, um, okay, so basically from now, I'm going to be doing the Moonwalker verbatim because Tice has, has checked out. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've got, I've got a few more things to talk about. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but can we end that stuff? Because that's when yeah. I really didn't pay attention no, was when fine. he was turning into a giant Kids robot all, and flying away. The only thing I've got... It has a bit... I'm going to... I'm gonna. F- with the kids, mm. when it's just on the kids, no Michael Jackson. Mm. Do you get a, a Spielberg feel with the music and a little bit in there? There's little bits get, in there when they're waving goodbye. It's but I mean that's unavoidable. We could to, to give that kind of. It's very reminiscent. It's E.T. Yeah. It's all that. Like so, I get it. I get it. But it's no you great feat. It's not. Oh, like, it's not massive. It's not like congratulations, you, you evoked Spielberg. That <laughs> it was just kind of like hey, by Spielberg ch- was in it by chance as as a claymation. Yeah, but he's really angry. I yeah. didn't remember Spielberg being an angry guy like that. I doubt That's Spielberg has been angry bender. before in his in his life, apart uh, from when Megan Fox did her thing and he kicked her off Transformers. Yeah. <laughs> he probably Be- gave her a good serve because she um, is uh, at his own. But yeah, right. Keep going. Um, yeah. What were your questions? Well, okay. So no, just I mean, did this the shooting stars? Money? Yeah, shooting stars. They're random, right? Are they random? What's causing them? His magic. No, but th- <laughs> they give him his magic. So his magic can't cause them. Yes. So what is what is the great power that's giving him the ability to turn into the car and the robot? Because he only does it when he sees the shooting star, and it only happens at like opportune moments. I don't know now. I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I wasn't expecting an actual answer, because if there was one... That would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, it's just, yeah, I don't. It's I don't just, a I don't it's just a thing. It's just a thing. I think it's just a thing. I like that the girl then gets, and she's like, no, it's not his star for him. It's yeah. not right. Yeah. Or whatever it is. Um, do you I, think it's funny yeah. that, so. <laughs> As a kid, I never liked that bit. Sure. As a kid, I was like, bitch, you just be grateful. Okay, just be grateful that you knew Michael Jackson. I love how to be in the, show. like the kids are sitting there and they're having such like mature discussions about loss. It's oh like, yeah, feels weird with him not here, right? Yeah. Like really, kind of like not insightful, but being very, no. very mature about it and kind of uh, like exploring those ideas and wanting to have the conversation about it. I'm like, oh, go you kids. Yeah. And then he just turns up and then again. He just walks up again, and he's just like, like oh, it's hey. no mess, no fuss, and yeah. it's just like, hey guys, I'm here, and they're like, Michael, Michael, we missed you so much. I'm like, was it an hour ago? Maybe was that it- this happened. <laughs> It's it's you've removed all kind of like weight to your return by basically it's like if I went, Nick, I'm leaving and I'll never see you again. All right, Tice, take it easy, buddy. Shut the door. All right. Hey, uh, Nick. I'm hey, Tice, what's going on? <laughs> no, man? I oh my god, I haven't then. seen uh, you in ages, Tice. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that is exactly what happened. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> But this is this is where at this point in the movie this is where I check out. I'm like, oh yeah, come together. It's done. It's I'm, done. I'm make a we get the bit where it's and it's way too long a scene than it needs to be when they're yeah. walking through the creepy kind yeah. of backstage, <laughs> backstage area. It takes forever. It's just a plug. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's just, just a plug. plug. You jump too. It's Ugh. just a plug. There are no rats in here. <laughs> There are no rats in it's here. So, Michael Jackson has the nicest he smile. Yeah. He has the nicest smile. Oh, it's just a plague. Oh, it's just a plague. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
That's so cute. <laughs> oh no, so I'm hilarious. just fucking. This is this is ridiculous. And then he finally like it's like he's just been backstage at a concert or whatever. I don't know, right? I don't know. I expected like one of those things, like you know, at the end of something. like Thriller, where he turns around and he's got like lizard eyes. I expected like some kind uh, of like oh, wink at the camera and bad. like a glimmer of like robot face or something, kind oh, of like yeah. a t- you know that T two effect where it goes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. No, you didn't get that. Instead, you got uh, Come Together. Come Together. Which I don't With mind. With varying deepness of V, <laughs> I noticed. Yeah, yep. you do get There's you some do real get rough continuity in a lot of this, uh, these ma- performances. <laughs> a massive. Yeah, that's true. Because at some points halfway through the song, it might as well be at the tip of his pants. Yep. And another time, he's like a, a full, top. it's an actual t-shirt, like yep. collar. Yeah. Um, and then you get the raddest band members. You get oh, a, I was about to say, his bass a, player is fucking badass. And you guy. get a keytar guy who... Oh, no, it's the keytar guy. It's the keytar guy, you're right. <laughs> it was so... Yeah. And the fact that there's a keytar in there, just badass. And then you, you end on a stage for... and Oh, for starters, glow sticks is a thing. Because oh, yeah, glow great. sticks, like, just happened. And then a stage freeze, which is the most badass stage freeze I've ever seen in my life. Excuse me? I just realized that my wife was right. She was like, how the fuck are you going to talk about this movie? <laughs> There's not a lot to talk about. We've done a pretty shoddy job, I think. <laughs> we have. We've done it to death. It's terrible. No one listen to this. Okay, please. No, no, no listen, listen away this. because... Because what would you like? To, what would you... What, what, have you seen Moonwalker? Have you seen Moonwalker? You what seen did Moonwalker? you think of Moonwalker, ladies and gentlemen? What did you think of Moonwalker? Um, because I... I'm, I can not, tell I'm you, at a loss. I can tell you for one thing. I had a Sega Mega Drive and I played the Moonwalker game. I remember the Moonwalker game. It was badass. What did you do? You had to rescue the children. Of course. You had to find them. So they were hidden all the way through each level. You had to find them. Now, if, Tyson, in Mm. that game, you found a particular uh, child first, a shooting star, Tyson, would cut across the screen. You had to catch the shooting star and in that... Put it in your pocket and save it for a rainy day. No, you would turn into the robot at the end of Ah. Moonwalker and you would kill guys. Yeah, You'd kill a bunch of dudes. Kill a bunch of dudes. I played that game to death. Nicholas, yes, I'm not sure I'm going to watch this movie ever again. Look, I will show it to my son, but that's it. I think I might put it on at a party one day. Oh yeah, that'd be good. I think that's maybe. Can it. I come? Yeah, cool. Should I have an MJ themed party? Yeah, no, I'll get. It'll be too I could active to, for me. I could listen to MJ for a whole night, pretty comfortably. Oh, dude, and this is what I loved. If we're gonna mention like allegations and all that shit. Whenever someone used to, back in the day, say a Michael Jackson joke that ended vulgarly for me. Which most, all of them did. Most of them did. Yeah. I would turn to that person and go, yeah, but if a Michael Jackson song comes on in a place where you can dance, like a club or whatever, are you not going to go on the dance floor? Yeah. You're telling me you're not going to go out there? I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's... It's kind of a tough thing to talk about, really, I think. It is. Um, like, let's fucking talk about bringing this on a downer. Ah, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. I've still got a few things. All right. Yeah. It's just kind of like, you just kind of, I don't know, man. The allegations, he wasn't he wasn't really well. He was. He didn't cope with fame. He obviously had some pretty messed mm. up mental issues. And sure. I, it resulted in a very strange human being that, you know, for we don't know for we a don't fact, know what do happened. we? Yeah, yeah I think, no, we don't. You know. And that's the thing. Once you hear about something enough, you start to believe it. And yeah. I think that's what the crux of the whole thing was. And, you know, so, you know, obviously gone too soon and, um, yeah, you know, leaves behind this incredible legacy and hopefully, you know, and maybe it's tarnished in some way because of, you know, Not these kind me. of allegations. But Not for me. You know, we'll just do it. We, we just, we go on. We've yeah, exactly. got some fucking good tunes. So. Fuck yeah. Did you watch to the very end, to the end credits? Did you get to? Did you see Lady Smith, Black Lab Barzo? I love that song. Hang on. Ooh, the what? Say that again. The band is called Lady Smith, Black Lab Barzo. The guy is going here. Oh yeah, yeah I thought I thought one of them was a song. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's my favorite performance in this whole thing. Oh really? Yeah, easily, <laughs> easily. You just watched the <laughs> really? Yeah. Bullshit. No, no shit. That is fantastic. That is really it is beautiful. It is so oh, really? soulful. It is like legit all the way. Yeah, yeah. Those guys, their phrasing is fucking out of control. Mm. They are singing like some really fucked up syncopation shit, mm. and it is tight. Spot on. Tight. Yeah. They are so good. How good is that? I was losing my shit over there. Oh, I was really? like, oh my God. 
why why went why can't we have like MJ playing with these guys doing something really cool? Yeah, yeah. Because they were just so good. You can't you can't rate that as the best performance in that movie. You just saw Smooth Criminal. And yeah, it's a I know, man. I know, but it's just it's, it's, really? I'm a sucker for that kind of shit, man. Oh, that's like very you dumb. give me a couple of old black dudes sitting on a stoop, yeah, singing a bit, singing the blues, with, man. In a cappella, just yep. slaps and, and occasionally. That's it. That's yeah. the that's the that's the real deal, man. Yeah, that is yeah. that is the re- that's so it. So after this, uh, for years I used to rewind that and watch that, and then I bought uh, Lady Smith Buckingham. Buzzo CDs, oh, cool. albums for ages and listen to that yeah, for, great. For, forever. It's not as, nothing is as good right. as that sure, performance, sure, sure. which that performance is awesome, man. Yeah. I love that. But, um, but yeah, the moon, is, the moon is walking, the sun that's is the cold. Month. Yeah, that's, yeah. And it's, it's, I love that song. It's, I love that song. It's something else. Yeah. Moonwalker. Moonwalker indeed. Can I've you got nothing else tops? to say. No, I can't. I'm really bad at no, it. No, so am I. I learned how to do it once, but Did definitely you? can't do it. Yeah. It's, the, I've it's tried something about it. It's how years. you use your weight. It's the push, yeah. yeah. You have to actually push it back. <clears throat> I can't do any of that shit. I can't do that weird one where he kind of swings around in circles. Sw- you know, Swing- the, you know oh, the it's, slide one? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do that. That's awesome. Um, I can't do any of that shit. Yeah. I was watching like some of the Cory and just I was blown away by it. Like just how inventive it is. Like it mm. really it's 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 really, really great. Yeah. Um and yeah, you know, like I don't really know what I'm talking about when it comes to that kind of shit, but mm. I know what I like when I look at it, and yeah. I can look at that stuff and just objectively say, "Fuck, that is really cool." Yeah, yeah. Um, I would like fun. to say that I can dance well because of watching this movie. Well, there you go. Yeah. So it did bring some good to the world, dude. It brought tons of fun for me. Good. A ton of fun. Good. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> For the record, ladies and gentlemen, this was Tyson's pick. <laughs> it was. I just thought it would be like, I knew it was going to be bonkers. I just wasn't prepared for how bonkers it was. I can't wait till we do the wall and fucking try that. We're going to have to do the wall. But the like, wall? Under some substance. The wall has so much going on in it, I think. Yeah, like actual up. stuff going on. But there's layers upon layers yeah, on that. Yeah, I think that is, so, that is like a real kind of artistic fucking vomit of like emotion and mm, and of, a of drug thought. haze yeah. and just what the fuck and everything is everything has a really distinct purpose yeah i don't know if i can say that about this this because i think it How does do in michael's in michael's head i reckon mm. it does and that's where it's even more fucked up because exactly. i'm like i want to understand this he's on this. a different plane he than was us. on a different plane yeah he's on I a space know. plane <laughs> that he turned into <laughs> In the end. In the end. When the shooting star hit his star and exploded oh, right. into a guardian Very of dusty. the galaxy. There you go. And we're done. Move on. Um, <laughs> Nicholas. Yes, Tyson. What did you watch this week? <laughs> da, 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 da. Tyson, I saw Deadpool. <gasps> Oh, we should have we should have told me earlier. Cause we're, we're actually <laughs> we're out of time. We're nearly out. Of, like we're already going long, and I've got a big one to see as well oh, that right? I wanted to talk about as oh, well. Dude, did you? See, what did you? Oh, say? I saw Solo. Oh, you saw Solo. <laughs> Fuck, we should have cut it short. God damn it! No, don't cut it short. I love Moonwalker. All right. Well, you go quick. I'll go quick. Okay. I'll from, go quick. You go from quick. From what I for uh, so I actually going in, Tice. I actually had uh, mediocre expectations. I was like, this, this isn't going to... It's been, it had been reviewed very well. Yeah, I knew that, and I'd stay away from spoilers and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, of course. Um, it was, in the end, a good time for me. I had fun, but nothing blew me the fuck away. Sure, like the first one better? Like the first one, oh, no, I'm going to say they're even par for okay, me. Okay, sure. And a lot of people that I've been talking to said, well... I was expecting so much more. I'm like, yes, but that's because the bar was set so fucking high with the first one. Like a friend of mine who is a massive Disney fan, mm. he rates Disney towards the under- Like end. the cartoons and stuff? No, 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 everything. Okay, sure. Marvel, Pixar, the whole nine yards. Yeah, okay. so he watches everything from Well, being a Disney fan pirates. basically means you're a fan of, any, of, of everything. Of everything, now. yeah, exactly. I was like, oh, yeah, how did, uh, how did John Carter go? And he hadn't heard of it. I was like, yeah, no shit. watch that. I love John Carter. Oh, really? Yeah, I actually really do. Really? I think it's wonderful. Oh, my God. Yeah. We're going to get to that. Anyway, um, he saw Deadpool because he thought Deadpool was a part of the Disney oh, world, right, 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 the right, first right. one, and came out of it going, Disney wouldn't allow this. What's going on? This is a really ar- – there was anal sex <laughs> in this movie. And I said – I said to him, Vader, are you serious? Did you... His name's Vader. His name's Vader. What's up, Vader? I know, right? Hey, Vader. He's a friend of the podcast. Um, He does listen. Uh, I said, Vader, did you not know? What Had you not seen a trailer? He goes, no, I actually went in blind. I'm like, well, obviously, you're not going to know. So, 
he was like, no, I think they toned this. I think they toned Deadpool 2 down. I'm like, no, they didn't. You just were expecting more. Yeah, yeah, that's we're it. We're always going to expect more aware, yeah. of, of a character. He goes, no, it was less violent. I was like, no, it wasn't. He was chopping off fucking hands. Yeah, right. There was a lot of violence. I'm this. excited. A lot of violence, which was great. The villain was great. Um, Everything so, was great. Yeah, so how's Cable? Good? Cable's fantastic. Great. Cable's really good. Spot yeah. on. Josh Brolin. Spot on. Killing it? Yeah. How's uh, the, um, the X-Force team? X-Force team is... Perfect, yeah, for what they are. Terry Crews, Terry Crews, love Terry Crews. Gold, yeah, yeah. awesome, yeah. awesome. Loved it. Um, how's the how's the gag with the the Australian guy that is is a the guy he's I don't know if he's playing an Australian guy in it, but he's an Australian actor. The guy that just shows up who has no powers whatsoever, Daryl. Oh. <laughs> the and civilian, Deadpool's, yeah, and Deadpool's like, you're in. Who's I a part like of X? <laughs> yeah, how's he? Is he funny? He was funny. Great. That's all I need. He's been my favorite thing of all the promo stuff so far. I love him sick. I didn't... So, I, because I've seen nothing, oh, I lost course. it at that point. Yeah, and yeah, went, yeah. Who the fuck is this dude? It was really good. Great. Yeah, yeah. Um, Our friend... Um, is it uh, starting to kind of work its way towards being a bigger part of the overall universe or smaller? Do you I think? think they've left it at a part where if Disney wants to pick it up, they can. Um, but if they end it there, hey, awesome. You know, okay. let's not. Ruin, are they open? Are doors open for a third? I think Ryan has said that. Well, do they, that's do they make it pretty kind of obvious in the film? Like, is no, no, no. It's not obvious at all okay. where they're going. Um, it's just that it's a no cliffhanger. There are a few little scattered little little, scattered little things that they can use. Okay. There's no, there's no end credits. That's the thing. If you wait to the end credits of Deadpool, there isn't anything. There's nothing. No this is not a Marvel movie. But there was for the first one. There was for the first one. Oh, that's sad. But that's because there was a second one coming. Yeah. Not for this one. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay. But yeah. Right. Still, please watch to the end credits. <laughs> yeah, because there's always going to be there funny is a, stuff. There is a no. It's a song. Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> but yeah. That's a Lindian song. No, oh. which I loved. Yeah. I didn't know that was in there. Yeah. I turned to Sam. I was like, "Is this Celine Dion?" She's like, "Yes." Yeah. She's a Canadian treasure. I'm like, babe, "She is, babe. I love you." <laughs> um. So yeah, All De- right. Deadpool. So, so solid two thumbs up. Um, yeah, solid two thumbs up. Don't in don't go in expecting Winter Soldier. Go in expecting Deadpool. Well, I don't think anyone would go in expecting Winter Soldier, would they? <laughs> well, that's a sequel. Yeah, true. A sequel to Captain America was but, so fucking badass. No, I think uh, yeah. that people rate it above Avengers movies. I never would have thought like I, if anything, I thought this would be they'd turn up the f- the funny more than anything else. Like so, it's. I think they, I think they kind of leveled out the funny. Okay, this is a tad more serious. Nice. Yeah, interesting, yeah, which is yeah, nice interesting. for me. Interesting. In saying that, would I watch it again? Fuck yeah, I'm ready to watch it. Well, again. That might work for me better because I, yeah, I'm, I'm not vocal, but I wasn't the yeah. hugest fan of the first would, Apple. Yeah, I, like I liked it quite a lot and had a giggle, but I found it to be very, really kind of. It's the simplistic structure I found was yeah. a bit kind of see. This is hard more yeah. We've laid the grounds for you. You know who the character is. There is going to be fourth wall breaking, but we're going to concentrate on the story. Great. This is almost like and uh, like a second season of Deadpool. Let's sure. go. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Good. Oh, well, I look forward yeah. to seeing it, and we can discuss some of the more interesting uh, elements. Yeah. Bring it on. Then solo Tyson. So yeah, I saw a solo a Star Wars story last night. How did that go? look? I was a little disappointed, unfortunately. I'm sorry to say. Yeah. I and I know it's it's kind of getting really it's getting interesting reactions. It is. Some people are reviewing it quite well. Others are not as good. I I was aware of the meta score before I saw it, which oh, was okay. a, which is around seventy or mid seventies, I think. Okay. Which is pretty. Good. That's up there. Yeah, like that's it's pretty above, good. So I was yeah. kind of like, oh, I think I might actually enjoy this. And I yeah it's I just kind of yet, didn't unfortunately. Oh. Um, I think it's um, it's pretty light in its um, in its goals. Like it's not super ambitious at all. Mm-hmm. It's telling a pretty self-contained story, which has elements um, that affect the overall universe. But yeah. it's pretty contained to a degree. Mm-hmm. Like we're not talking about yeah. It's not the fate of the universe is in your hands. It's pretty much the fate of you and these five people. Oh, but that's and, okay. I don't expect. That from a solo yeah, movie. and that's it's, yeah. it's actually kind of refreshing to yeah. a degree. I'm sick of the world being uh, at at the you know in uh, in danger. Yeah, well, look, and I mean, it, it's it's always nice every now and then to kind of to look at a smaller segment of that, like to actually look at the on, a, on like a bit of a micro level because yeah. that's really where it affects us personally sometimes. So we want to, we don't want to lose those really kind of intimate stories. Exactly. Um, what I'd say about this is though is that because it was. There wasn't really anything that that 
we didn't we couldn't have already kind of just made up mm. no knowing what we know about Han Solo. Oh, okay. Um well there's no great revelations about his character. There's no great kind of change. Yeah. He actually kind of is just this he basically starts off as the Han Solo we know. Oh really? Like it's it's really weird. It doesn't feel like one of those movies where we see him develop into the character we know and love. Yeah. He is that he's guy. He's pretty much just that guy from the beginning. Like he's just a bit of a lout. He's trying he's getting himself in scrapes and yeah. he's you know, and he's yeah, he's, if anything, he's just a little bit more plucky, um, which would just come with youth. Um, exactly. But other than that, it yeah, it doesn't really do much. I think the strongest parts of the film are the characters that inhabit it and the performances. I think they're incredibly strong. Um, you've got um, uh, fucking what's his name? Charles Gambino. No, I can't think of his actual name. Jesus Christ. Uh, Dar- uh, what do I want to yeah, say, Daryl? Uh, don't say Daryl. It's not Daryl. God. Um, from fucking Community. I know. We know who he is. We do our job well. His name is Donald Glover. Donald Glover. Thank Fuck. Daryl Glover. It's all right. It's all right. Um, Donald Glover is excellent. Like, just yeah. really excellent. Lando. His Lando is 100% top notch. Spot on. Um, Woody Harrelson's just been Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Um, Paul Police. Bettany. Cool. Really cool. Oh, really? From Paul Bettany. Great little villain turn. Um, nice. Really, really interesting characterization. I dug it a lot. Paul um Bettany. I love Paul uh, Khaleesi's Khaleesi? fine. Yeah, she's yeah, great. She's it's good. good to see. Like she's, I think she's just generally pretty solid. Like I, yeah. I've like obviously liked her in Game of Thrones. I liked her in Genesis. I, I always Terminator like Genesis. I yeah, think she yeah. was pretty strong in that. Despite you know, we, well, we know that I actually don't mind that movie. <laughs> um, and I'm like the one guy. The I'm one the one guy, guy that's going to stand up are. for it. Me and James Cameron apparently. Yeah. James Cameron liked it as well. Uh, did he? Oh. Um, that's not high praise though. He's yeah, a, he's no, a James Cameron's a he's fucking a garbage waste. Um, and um, yeah, so she's fine. Um, John Favreau. Favreau voices a, a four-armed monkey who is Rad. really great. Yeah, really cool. funky little character. Um, but, at, like, um, our man Han Solo mm. is really great. Oh, he does okay. a really, really good job. Yeah. I think he's... Does he, put, he doesn't put on a voice like a character. No, Ford look, voice. he doesn't try. I, it, it's really interesting what he does. Do you see the um, origin story of the vest? No, you don't see the origin of the vest. You see some origins, and they are fucking awful. Oh. There are some moments that I, if I was... In a Massive maybe cringe. like a smaller cinema without anyone around me, You'd I would like, uh, <laughs> at the top of my voice when they happened because some of them are garbage um, and just so unnecessary, so yeah. completely unnecessary because the they just hurt. Like you, it's it's legitimately people. They're not winks. They they're, but the, they're almost like mass- the movie stops and the actor comes towards the screen and says, "Did you get it? Did you get it? Yeah, you got it." <laughs> and then that keeps going. Um, yeah, but otherwise he's really good. He's not trying to do a voice. He just he just gets the mannerisms, yeah. and it's really it is just like a young, more energetic, and opti- optimistic version of the Han Solo we know. Oh, nice. And I, like I think it's a real shame that these actually pretty great characters weren't mm. in just a better movie, yeah. um, which I'm a little bummed about. Um, it's not well directed. Oh, um, who directed this thing again? Ron Howard. Oh, that's right. It, doesn't look good. It oh, looks wrong. pretty. It's like you know the you know the drabness of Rogue One. How Rogue One had this real kind of like everything was like dripping with seriousness in its production design. It's Which even I- worse than that in this. It is so drab. But I thought it was going to be yeah, Rogue One, man. That's where it started. The I only thought it was going to be fucking awesome because yeah. I thought, oh, I, we've I got a rad series. I don't mind movie. Rogue One, but. It's, Look, yeah. I don't mind any of them, but that's the point. I don't yeah. mind any of them. Um, the costume designs in this are really fun. They're yeah. the one. They're a the couple of the things that really bring it, bring it to life a little bit. The creature designs are also back to when. Um, back to when they were kind of unique, because mm. you look at these characters and you're like, oh, that's a really interesting character design. It's not like a just a giant fish man. Or something, you know what I mean? Or the the guy in the diner. <laughs> what was the guy from Attack of the Clones? Who the four armed guy who owned a fifties <laughs> diner? I'm like. What? <laughs> you know, the guy with the fish head. What? Yeah, yeah the guy with the fish head. So the, the, the creature designs are actually really oh, interesting. And yeah. you look at them and you, they, 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 they feel alien in a way that um, is um, like a Guido. little bit unsettling. Guido was weird looking. Yeah. Mm. There's, a, there's one of them, oh, there's I think, one, floating around. Is there? Um, oh, yeah, maybe. Does he rock up? No, no, because it's, he's a is race, a so they all him? look the same. Oh, okay. Um, wow, there's lots okay. of like, oh, man, there's oh, lots really? of nudge nudges to other characters that we know. I know a guy who bloody blah blah blah, and he you're like, move hey, okay, things around. fucking yeah, we get it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Friends with Sam people, shut up. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, 
Okay. Like, it is what it is. I, look, I'll see it. I'm going to see it. I'm just not going to see it at the cinema, no, unfortunately. It's, yeah, look, uh, it's... My TV's know, big enough. There are a couple of... It is. A, that's a, yeah, that'll be a good watch <laughs> on this thing. There's a couple of sequences that I think are pretty strong. Like, the, the, the train heist sequence isn't bad. Like, it's a pretty mm. well put together sequence. Yeah. There's a sequence towards the end that I quite enjoyed as well. Um, I just think, ultimately, it's kind of just empty. Oh. And I think that's really disappointing. Coming off Last Jedi, which is anything but, like, like it or not, it is asking huge questions mm. and he, it wants oh, to it challenge you statements, baby. as a, you know, it Hell wants to yeah. challenge your ideology. It wants to cha- challenge how you feel about sci-fi storytelling and, yep. and it does all these things. This just this does nothing. Just and I'm not saying that every movie has to, boring. but it's, I feel like in yeah, a Star you... Wars film we we we're expecting some kind of at least, at least an, an acknowledgement of, um, you know, there's not really any. They don't really kind of delve into that whole like honor among thieves atmosphere, or oh, okay. or what makes these people just as important as human beings to up against the people that have this wild destiny of saving the universe. You know, me going in, I'm expecting because he is a smuggler, and this is Han Solo's story, and from what I've seen from the trailers, I'm expecting a Star Wars version of Firefly sort of happen. A it's, bit it's of a not, band of friends. Not, you're not wrong, and and they smuggle some shit. There are, I think, and they get into trouble. It's actually a pretty good um, uh, approximation of the tone that they tried to achieve, yeah, and weren't able to completely. Okay. Um, I th- yeah, um, but yeah, you're not far off like what I think they were had in mind. Um, well, I knew it. I saw the last half an hour of Serenity the other day, and oh, it's so. I'm good. ready to do five like so actually, good. even though I have. So- Many Serenity TVs to is watch. so better. Like it's it's already great, but mm. it is so much better when you watch it straight after straight watching after Firefly it. Yeah. because oh, it is just uh, because it fucking the moments rips that rips you yeah, out. Yeah. Those moments that are even if you'd only ever seen that movie, yeah, those moments are devastating. But with that, with uh, it, like with that backed up, with the, yeah, you're like, God, that's. Oh, good I'm not ready for this. I'm not yeah. ready for this. Okay, um, anyway, so that's solid. Oh, I give solid. it a good solid one thumb up. One, one thumb. thumb up. One thumb on its side is what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah. One thumb up, one thumb on its side. Yeah, because okay, it's not like quite that. it's not quite one it's thumb down, down, one thumb up. No, no, it's kind of a, a thumb up and a small yeah, fist. Because I can't I, I, I think more than anything, and a small fist? I think more than anything, it's just um <laughs> it's just so um unnecessary. I think that is the word to cover it. There is nothing about it that is essential in any way. <laughs> You've lost it. You've lost it. You have lost the plot. Nicholas, let's move on. Oh, my God. It's time that we... It's time that we... (laughs) Are you ready? Ready, go for it. It's time that we... Cross the (laughs) stripes! Very good. We've reached that magic hour of podcasting when uh, we need to end the episode. It's not our fault. Look, going in... I think think we should have a disclaimer at the start of this. I think you should do a voiceover when (laughs) we kick in saying, just a heads up. This podcast episode is just as crazy as the fucking movie Moonwalker. Oh, yeah, it's a good point. <laughs> we should have been drunk doing this. We should, we should have, have got drunk. real fucked up. We should have got up. fucked up. Oh. I haven't been fucked up in ages. Now I have to work. Oh. I've got mine. Uh, I've got mine. Oh, okay, well, You go there first because we, we might have the same one, and so I want to make sure. We totally don't have the same okay, one. Okay, cool. Due to the fact that we have done Moonwalker, I am oh, going, good call. I'm going to pick a movie that... You're I'm really good at picking things that are actually related to the episode <laughs> we talked about. I just pick fucking random shit. <laughs> no, I liked it. Um, I... Uh, you do have to rent it. You can rent it on uh, Apple TV. Uh, oh, yeah. Or you can rent it on the PlayStation Network. Oh, yeah. Um, but it is 1993's Poetic Justice starring Janet Jackson. Wow, Poetic Justice. Poetic Justice. Now, I remember watching this back in the day because um, after Boys in the Hood hit, there was uh, a slew, a, just a slew of <laughs> of urban stories, of just um, of just. Uh, what else we got? Uh, you've high got learning, high learning. Yeah, menace you, to society. Menace to society. Keep going. One eight seven. One eight seven. Dangerous minds. Dangerous minds. Keep going. Uh, no, I think I'm out. No, you can lean on it. me. No, lean that was older, <laughs> wasn't it? No, that was, that was ladies, old. Yeah. Coach Carter. No, um, no we're too early. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Straight out of Compton. No, way too early. Um, but yes, I remember watching this and thought and thinking that I was watching something that I wasn't 
supposed to be watching. Sure. It, was, it was quite adult. Yeah. Because it is, it's the story of Janet Jackson's character whose, her name is Justice. And she, oh, it's, and it's sort of a, a poet. there you go. Um, she's still, sto- it's sort of a boy meets girl type situation, but the girl's previous boyfriend was shot in front of her. Right. So she's dealing with a few things, right, and, right, 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 right. and he helps her maybe come out of her shell. Very good. I love it. I I, I want to watch this movie again. Look, I don't. Think I I've haven't. Ever seen I haven't Justice. seen this movie since the nineties. It could be shit, but the fact that Janet Jackson is in it, looking boss, and she's rad, and the guy that she falls in lovely love with is Tupac Shakur. It's it's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> and Tyson's phone just died. It was on twenty five percent, and I just tried to look up who directed Poetic Justice, That's and it crashed. It's like, yeah. this is unnecessary. You don't need to look this up. I need to go to sleep is what my phone's saying. That's true. Um, who did direct Poetic Justice? Can you tell me? Was it someone like John Singleton or was it the Hughes brothers or one of those? John Singleton. It was John Singleton. Straight, straight okay, so. So, yeah. Well, that's good cred. It was. So, drama. It's a it's a dramatic romance. It's It's got some messed up things in there. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I love oh, it. I'll check that out. Yeah. I will, yeah. I, 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 have a bit of a, I have a bit of a hole in that viewing space. Yeah. Um, I've only seen a few of those kind of ur- inner urban, inner urban high school dramas. Yeah, um, I'm going to recommend a Ooh. film that I don't know if we've recommended it before. I hope we haven't, but it's. Oh. I feel like it's new to streaming. I can tell. And that was um, that is Kubo and the Two Strings. Well, we definitely haven't. Right. I think we've talked Good about it pick. in a way before, but it's we just did. recently come to Netflix and Foxtel. But Netflix obviously is the better choice because mm-hmm. fuck Murdoch. Um, so yeah. um, get if you have not watched this yet, I. Cannot recommend it highly enough. It is from um, Lake Laika um, Studios, the guys that did um, Coraline and Paranorman. Yep. They do incredibly intelligent, wonderful, beautiful children's entertainment. Mm. Um, that Quite is scary. At that some pushes parts. like we don't, we just don't get that anymore, man. No, we don't which, have which is that great. children's entertainment that just kind of brushes brushes just, into into more mature stuff so yeah. it's a great little um a great little pathway into heavier stuff as they get older yeah. like we had as kids we had labyrinth we had dark crystal we had these Romans. kind of things we had all those things. yeah where yeah. there were adult elements to it and things that kind of exposed us to maybe different ideas i mean but we you know we fucking we watched all kinds of shit when we were, I was <laughs> watching predator fucking, yeah, Robo-Cop. Oh, exactly i was watching exactly. robocop when i was six years old um um and but this is like a really i think for Mm. We, you know, and I'm not making assessments because, um, you know, I'm not a parent, so it's it's a mm. different thing. Yeah. But from, I think there is a general kind of idea that we're a little bit more careful about that stuff now, yeah. um, which is neither a good or a bad thing. I don't know. It's you know, it's it's each parent to their own. But here's a great opportunity. Yeah, that's it, and we worked out pretty well. There's a good opportunity here to kind of expose some slightly more adult things to these yeah. two kids. And fuck me, Cubo and the Two Strings is such a beautiful story. It's scary. Absolutely. It is moving. It deals with. Um, it helps kind of um, really uh, t- uh, put a story to the idea of grief in a way that kids can understand grief and loss. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it also says a lot about why we tell stories as well, which I mm. think is really important. Mm. Is this really beautiful kind of message about passing down stories through generations and things like that. The animation is fucking gorgeous. Amazing. The action se- sequences are legitimately... Action sequences. Like, full-on action sequences. Yeah. Um, and there are bits in this that if you are not... Crying your eyes out, you uh, you, don't have you are soul. a strange human being. Yeah, um, obviously voted for Trump. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to put it out there. We're not we're it. not fucking shy about who um, we voted for. But yes, yeah, so that's just on Netflix now in Australia. So um, that's if rad. anyone's been holding off on that one, please just watch please it. Please take our word for it. Yeah. It is it is it was easily my favorite it animated t- film I think of that it year. Was a top ten. That's why we had it. Why we've talked about uh, it before. Yeah, it was yeah. in our top ten. Um, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, it just it just deserves to be seen. So mm. get it on a big television because you need to witness this animation. It is just really out of control. Really do. Um, Before uh, we head off, yeah, man. Top ten. Uh, you just reminded me. Oh. Top three Michael Jackson oh, songs shit. go fuck, just fuck, straight fuck, to the top of your head. Done. Oh, top of my head. Top of my head. Top, top of my head. head. Well, I know number one, so I'll start with three. Start with three. Um, Earth song. Wow. Earth song number out three. Of the park. What's your number three? Number three for me would have to be Dirty Diana. Dirty Diana. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I think this was, there was a lot of, so talking with my friends when we talked about uh, mu- music videos and how oh, yeah. they affected us when we were kids. Good video? Uh, yes, but v- music videos that you watched that you didn't realize uh, uh, 
opened your sexual awakening. Oh, hello. Yeah. Hello. And Dirty Diana was that. And it wasn't, you don't get to see her face. It literally was Ladies just her hips. Here we go. And it was a mini skirt. And ooh, ooh. good Lord. Good Nicholas was Lord. like, hi, how, how, oh, I don't know what's going on. What's happening in my pants? Yeah. Um, number two. Number two. Uh, it's, it's hard. Tough. It's tough. It's really hard. Uh, it's like the hardest thing in the world. Fuck. Uh, this is way too hard. You have Beat to... it. Okay. Wow, that was a good one. Yeah, it was. It took. It took a bit. It took a bit, but it took a bit. Yeah. Shit. Shit. Um, it's definitely. I can tell you what it's not, and it's one of my most hated songs. Is Heal the World? Uh, yeah, fair call. Yeah, that's fine. I hate Heal the that's World. That's fine. Um, you made me pick quick without looking. You yeah, have sorry. to do it too. Yeah. Put uh, the phone away. All right. All right. All right. Uh, 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 it's it's in the closet. Oh. All yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dangerous was well. Dangerous sure. was my favorite album. Uh, was right. my first album ever. And, sure. Uh, yeah, in the closet. All right. Mm. Well, my number one, which has just always been my number one, is Remember the Time. Oh, really? Yeah. Fucking badass. And I such love a, it. Such a good video. Such a great, well. such a great video. Yeah. So good. My number one is Man in the Mirror. Yeah, great. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. No way. No <sighs> way. Ladies and gentlemen, if you liked what you heard, which if you did, fuck, you're messed up. Um, <laughs> Seriously, if this was, if this was your <laughs> favorite, favorite episode, episode, good lord. Good um, lord. But if you would like to contact Nick Dice of Videotape, you can find us on uh, on Stitcher, on iTunes, on anywhere that you find podcasts. Yes. Please rate, review, star, all of that stuff. Yes. Share us around. Do that on the iTunes store Please specifically because that really helps us get um, picked up by the algorithms and stuff. Mm. Um, if you want to talk to us on our social media accounts, we've got a Facebook. We've got an Instagram. We've, we've got, got a Twitter. Twitter we've, we've got, got YouTube. YouTube. Um, so you can come on and have a word to us in any of those uh, formats. We would love to interact with you all. Absolutely. Um, but you're, if you're stuck in a cubicle and you can't really, your boss is looking over your shoulder, just pretend to write an email yeah. and write an email write to an email. Nick Tyson videotape at gmail.com. That's where we also take requests for Absolutely. our by request section. Yeah. I've had a few people again who have oh. told me in person and oh. they have made it very <laughs> clear that they very must clear. email if they wish to be considered for the by request section. Nick Tyson videotape <laughs> at gmail.com. Um, and and ladies and gentlemen, I spell my name N I C. This is correct. It is yeah. N I C A N D T Y S. T Y S. Or Sorry. just literally just. N I C T Y S A N D. Yes. Yeah. Or just chuck in videotape and it comes up because that's what I do. Very good. Yeah. Uh, what else? Um, that's all that that's kind of it. stuff. Next week. Next week, Tyson? Yeah, so next week, uh, well. To the, celebrate. To celebrate the release of. Um, it's what, not really the, a hope? big movie of the summer, no. but I hope it is hope a it good is. movie. And that's yeah. um, Ocean's 8, the um, the all female starring sequel to the Ocean's trilogy. Yeah. We thought it might be a good example to go back and have a look at actually one of our like legitimately favourite movies yeah, of man. all time. Seriously. Um, we've talked about this before. We both absolutely love this film. You can't not. Um, and it might be the film that kind of got me on the Soderbergh train as oh, well. Oh, really? Oh, no. Oh, Out of Sight did that. Out of Sight did that 100%. Oh, but I think this was the cementing of him as a filmmaker for mm. me when I was like, you know what? I'm all about this guy. This was me seeing his vision. I was like, wow. Soderbergh yeah. actually has like a way that he likes to shoot things. Yeah. yeah. And when you're, you know, when you're 18 or 19 or whatever we were mm. around the time around this movie time. came out, yeah, yeah. we're very much formulating what kind of films are going to be the films that we spend the rest of yeah, our life yeah, watching. Yeah. I was all Focus about on. the Soderbergh star. Yeah, um, me too. So, I'm, yeah, I'm really excited to talk about Ocean's yeah. Eleven Ocean's next 11. week. Bring it on. What Bring was the year? Indeed. I think it's 2001, but yeah. my phone's dead, so... Um, we don't need... We'll tell you next week. We'll tell you next week. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> Definitely for me. Maybe not for Tyson, but hey. <laughs> I had a blast, <laughs> I did. All right. See you okay. next week. Bye, Tyson. Bye, Nick. Bye.